Greetings and welcome to you, brave citizens of our new world. I am Toronto's greatest supervillain and evil genius, Dr. Terrawatt. This is our layer 4.0, and today we play Detroit Become Human. So good to see you all. Hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hey, everybody. How's everybody doing? Uh, hello. Hi. Hey there. Um... We're getting back in. Eh. Eh. Oh, hello. Hey, Stu. Who? And hello, Mr. Classic Magic. We got we got Death Watch. We got Palanthir in here. Oh, there's an assortment of unicorns who's also coming here. Ooh, shit, there's an assortment of unicorns. So good to see you. Uh, we, uh, there's a cutie Kitsune in here. We got we got all the usual suspects. Hi. Um, I fixed. I mean, the, the widgets in this one weren't really ever broken, but I did fix some of the stuff on this, which I'm very happy about. Uh, but hi. Uh, before we get started, because as you can see, I've never played this game. <laughs> uh, I know very limited things. Uh, the only thing that I know is that uh, Connor, the character who you're seeing sort of right here, is my boy. And I love him. Uh, that's about the only thing we know. And also, thank you. Oh my god. Uh, Purple Iron Fist is gifting two tier one subscriptions to the community. Thank you so much. Uh, to hello, both, uh, Tenetry and Save Points 2. subscriber sent by CyberLife to aid in the stream. <laughs> hey, thanks, Plantu, for the donation. Thank you so much. Ah! Oh, I'm a subscriber sent by CyberLife to aid in the stream. Detective. <laughs> it's me, Connor. Um, I don't know if I can play with my PlayStation 4 controller, despite the fact that this game came out on the PS4. So here's big, uh, here's, here's big hopes that it works. Um, so now the, now the light's on. Uh, oop, there it is. There it is. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's using my configuration. Uh, before we get into it, though, I want to talk a little bit about the game that we're raffling off today. Heck yeah! Uh, Connor and his partner. Yeah, Connor is baby. <laughs> it's the only good part of this game. <laughs> um, so the game that we're going to be raffling off today is a couple of games, um, and they're both going to be given to the same person, and that is Bit Trip War Runner 1 and 2. Bit Trip Runner is your standard runner game. Um, it's got, like, 3D backgrounds, a fun 2D character. You just run around and collect gold. You get, like, sweet rainbows and stuff. You knock stuff out of the way. You got to use, like... Uh, retro challenges and like little pong boards to knock shit out of your way uh, as you're going along and certain abilities and stuff like that. Like it's, it is your standard runner game, but it throws a fun sort of retro futuristic twist on it, which I think is very cool. There's bosses. It's a good time. Uh, and then there was also a uh, bit trip runner too. Bit trip runner two. Uh, future Legend of Rhythm Alien. Uh, this is another, like, continuation, basically, of the same system, except, twist! It's in 3D. <laughs> so this is what we're going to be raffling off today. Like, it's a simple enough game, and it's a lot of fun to just pick up and put down kind of situation. Uh, so yeah. Present Runner 2, Future Legend of Rhythm Alien. And I think that'll be a good time for you guys if you want to check that out. Uh, so that's what we got going on. But today, we're playing ourselves some Detroit. Become human. Uh-oh. It is already invalid graphics driver. Oh, God. Download the most recent drivers of GeForce. Okay. Do I not have the right driver? Oh, man. Did we? No, never mind. It's gonna launch anyway. Let's start this stream off with a bang. Oh shit! Let's get oh! the 70 PS to oh! get shot in the game and keep up the good work. Doc. Thank you so much. Please don't get shot in the game and keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, remaining graphics access for optimization files generation. Yeah, it's working on some stuff. So this is what happens when I don't test things. Um. 
depending on your CPU speed and your GPU model. Uh, please don't quit until it is done. It's launching Detroit Become Human, but it is just fixing some of the graphics because this was a PS4 game and its port to Steam might not have been as smooth as uh, some people had hoped. But instead, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say thank you so much to Mr. Classic Magic for your donation here. Uh, getting us straight up to 70%. Uh, uh, the 16th, we're doing great so far this month. Thank you so, so much. Uh, all of your donations that you guys bring into us here absolutely help us keep things running. Uh, and I'm just so grateful that you guys all come out and, uh, and watch me do silly, goofy things. <laughs> um... Oh, I'm so excited. I got a whole bunch of new noises put in for all of the alert box stuff uh, for the fantasy side, so I can't wait for people to check that out. Uh, I think I might make some modifications to one or two of them. I also want to modify some of the sounds and uh, and the visuals for this one as well, but it's it's one of those situations where I kind of have to like I have to wait uh, to see where it puts us in terms of that. I I want to tab out of the screen, but at the same time, I'm not going to tab out of the screen. Um. I thought I would see what all the hype behind this game is about. Thank you, Rainer. Uh, I appreciate you. We're we're having a good time. It's launching a text adventure. Nice! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I decided it's a tech-based game. I put on my lab coat and get my glasses and get my controller and get ready. I think it'd be cool. Yeah, we're going to need to fix that. That's like the the USB ports on the front of my uh, PC tower are uh, what's the word busted, <laughs> and they like wiggle a lot. So if you try to plug things into them, it doesn't really go in properly. So yeah, I have not played this game, uh, Mr. Classic Magic. I have not. No, uh, I hear there's a lot of feels. I hear Connor is a sweet uh, babu whom you need to protect, and I'm very excited to do that. Uh, yeah, um, honestly, even though I grump about this game and its plot failings, I really enjoyed streaming it with my friends. Like, it's super fun with extra commentary. Oh, well, I mean, we could. Is Steve available? Do you want to join in and do commentary on this? If that was something we did talk about, I have entirely forgotten. Uh, and I apologize in advance, because <laughs> uh, I'm just... Not not firing on all cylinders these these days. Oh, shit! Ten Let's bucks from Rainer! Nation's coming. Let's get Doc a proper villain oh, chair. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rainer. Mm. Yeah, Connor is a good boy, I'm told. I've seen, like, little short clips of just his dialogue, and I'm like, this seems like a really cool guy. But I haven't seen all the things that he does in the game. So I don't want to, like, I don't want to throw all my weight behind a character that might turn out to be terrible. Um, Steve's not around, but if you'd like a buddy, I am around. Uh, you know what? I'm going to see if I can get this running first, uh, and then if I can share the screen with you, then that way you'll be able to see what I'm doing uh, with minimal delay and uh, sound, and we'll be in there. And thank you. Yes, my tailbone would definitely appreciate getting a new chair, because uh, right around when I bought this new chair for, my, uh, for the lab, my tailbone has become very sensitive ever since <laughs> and i've been having some difficulty doing things like sitting on stuff for extended periods of time uh oh, we're coming down to the last 500 and change assets for optimization uh i hope it doesn't just fully crash and i feel silly that i didn't try this out before but as i understand it the game like the, the second you turn it on, the game is already just starts playing. Like, it doesn't let you get to a menu without there being some stuff first. Uh, so I was like, all right, well, I'm not going to get into it. Um, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why it's being silly like this. But it is, so we're just going to have to try to figure this shit out. Uh, hey, it's a Tonberry Queen. It doesn't, it doesn't belong to Dan. Get off my back. <laughs> Hey Todd, what's going on? I get you know what? I should get that sound bite as well. Uh come on man. Don't be fussy. There you go. PlayStation 4 controller using uh Dr. Terawatt's bull. Here we go. Get ready for fun. Remaining pipeline states. Oh, cool. By playing this game you accept our privacy policy. 
Sure. Oh, hello. Oh, there's an Android showcase. Shader compilation process. Uh oh, it's doing more stuff. Designed by Cyberlife. Assembled in Detroit. Oh, and look at these characters. I am ideal for your child. Oh, don't tell me that. Oh man. Is the stream yeah. The stream's stream's chugging a little bit. Sorry everybody. <laughs> This thing is really, really getting in. Uh, perfect service officer. Performs all maintenance for your home. Cleans and disinfects all surfaces. Takes care of your garden. Fast food mode among more than 4,500 dishes. Can launder 200 shirts per hour. On 24-7 functionality. Oh, and it's like chugging. Chug. I mean, to be fair, this thing didn't run so hot on PlayStation 4 either, and my PC is very technically better, so we'll see if it works. So much loading! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sir, we're putting in as many graphics as we can! More! More! <laughs> uh, don't worry about being late! I ended up being late getting started by a little bit, because I had to poop. Uh... Yeah, she's chugging along. It was a good time. The one thing, like, I know this game was a huge allegory, obviously, for racism and segregation. Uh, so I think now's a good time to play it. But uh, the one thing I didn't believe about this as much... Oh, God, can you guys even hear me anymore? Can you hear me? I don't know if you can hear me. Like, this is funny story oh you guys can hear me okay good yeah um i'm gonna see if i can tab out can i tab out i can cool can i tab back in i can cool all right so i'm gonna tab out while while this is happening um <laughs> nope didn't like me doing that There we go. Whew. All right. So I'm going to hop over here. I don't think the Discord's going to work for me. I don't even think it can... Like, I can't even scroll down stuff. Yeah, David Allegory's Cage specifically said this game wasn't about racism. Uh-huh. Okay. Well, let's not all leave it up to David Cage to know what the fuck he's talking about at any given moment. <laughs> if it starts smoking, just, just stop, drop, and roll. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, like, I can't even, I can't even scroll on stuff, so let's just, let's just wait until this is done. I'm just gonna wait until this is done before I hop into Discord, because it's not gonna let me do stuff. Um, the NC200. Okay. Flawless quality every time. Respects deadlines to the minute. Flawless victory. Absolute safety. Oh man, surveillance 24-7 without interruption. Oh, that'd be nice. Immediate analysis of the threat. Video recording. Uh, Master Over 27 Sports, from tennis to boxing, trains with you as your partner and your coach. Oh, they even have a Chad model. Look at you. <laughs> Models, female, male, neutral. Ooh, cool. Yeah, I'm going to wait till this is done loading. I started to go I'm going to have to wait. As if that isn't the point, yeah. Um, so maybe close Discord out. Nah. It's not going to, like, I, I've got a lot of processing power on this computer. The fact that it's able to do all of this um, while doing, like, shader compilation processes and stuff is astonishing. Oh, here we go. Hello. Loading. Quantic Dream. So cool. Ah. Hello. 
Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh-huh. Subtitles on. Subtitle size small. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Please adjust your screen settings. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Uh, yeah, we're going to need to turn that up. I can't get higher than that. I can't go. I can't go a little bit higher. Uh huh. All right. Well, I'm gonna keep it there. Thank you. Now select your profile. Profile. Uh, experienced, casual. Uh, I want to focus on the story with simpler controls, a more forgiving challenge with fewer chances to lose a character. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for this one. Uh, because I'm more interested in the story than the challenge of like. This, these games are a series of quick time events. I would like to enjoy the story more than I would like to uh, challenge myself for a series of quick time events. So you are now ready to begin Detroit. Yep. Remember, uh -huh. this is not just a story. Okay. This is our future. Future. Oh, they just get right into it. August 15th. Oh, is it our boy? Oh, it's our boy. Seventieth floor. Fuck. So smooth. Look how smooth he is. Negotiator on site. Repeat. Oh, I'm in I'm in control. Oh, sweet. Okay, I'm gonna pause real quick. <laughs> Do they have a PlayStation uh thing? Controls. Uh vibration on. Invert X axis. No. Invert Y axis. No. Uh oh mind palace. Oh, that's rad. Uh switch camera. Pause. Yeah, and then there's camera and move. Um Okay, so it doesn't look like they've got uh, a whole situation going on here. I'm going to have to just, like, try to remember that it's not X and square. It's A and X. And X is the square, but A is also the X. So that's going to that's gonna suck. But here we are. <laughs> Oopsie daisy. Um, all right, cool. So let's real quick, uh, let's, let's hop on out of there for just ha a hot second. Uh, let's go over here to... An assortment of unicorns. I'm gonna start a little call. Mm hmm. Hello. 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 Hey, friend. Hello, friend. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Uh, I'm so. <laughs> are you excited? I'm really excited. Me too. I fucking love this I, game. I think this game's awesome. I love hate this game. <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, that's gonna be a thing. Um, yeah. <laughs> windowed. Okay. Auto detect. No, don't don't full screen me. No, I want it windowed. Borderless window, please. Yes, apply. Oh, and it literally changes nothing. Neat. Cool. Needing. So now I can I can come in and out without needing to worry about that, and I can share this specifically with you. Resolution's gonna be a little bit lower. Frame rate's gonna be low as well. Don't care. Going live. All right. That's fine. Can you see? I can see. All right. Now, <laughs> what if I what if I go over here and I and I and I press some buttons? Yeah, I can see everything. Can you hear? I can hear. Perfect. All right, sweet. We're good to go. Here we are. Oh, oh, I love man. Connor. I can I can turn the camera like this, but I can't like Oh, and then there's like a switch option. Okay. Mind Palace. Oh, fucking cool. It's so cool. Now, see, this I love because he's supposed to be an android. So he when is. everything goes into slow motion like this, it makes sense for his character to be able to do this because he's a fucking robot. <laughs> he's able mm -hmm. to process information millions of times faster than you and I. So it's ah, oh, so cool. So cool. All right. Connor is the best character in this game. Um, I don't want this. I want my controls to be simple. What is what is? But I. Want I think that them. is simple, isn't it? Well, uh. Oh right, no, yes, it should be. 
All right, because I yeah, was told that I was told used... that controls that were simple only used the two buttons. Okay, so M. Phillips, uh, Carolyn, and John. Okay, so then I'm just gonna I'll just put that back. Uh, it's the family. Oh, well, there's a fish on the ground. Collecting data. Dwarf Gourmi. Uh, save. I will save this fish. Poor fish. Hmm. I'll just Famsh. put that back in there. There you go. <laughs> I think he just got like 110%. Doesn't fucking Instability care. go up. Oh, wait, what? Instability yeah. went up? Instability go up. What? <laughs> oh no. Because do robots have morals? Oh, that's right. Yeah, like a robot showing compassion's not cool. Uh, right? Weird, right? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh shit, there's bullet holes in this glass, dog. Yep. Uh, that's not good. So, in the top right corner, you're going to see like whatever goes up or go down. Um, please, and it's going to just say a name. Girl. Copy that. Oh. All right, ma'am. We you need to go. You can't do that. You. Why aren't you sending a real person? Hey, f <laughs> first off, fuck you. <laughs> People suck. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> oh, consult my fucking objectives. Find Captain Allen. So he's over there. Uh, let me have a little look around, though. Let me have a little hey, look around. Yeah, a little, a little wander. Uh, what's this? Can I can I go in here? Controls aren't great, but that's fine. No, uh, it's not. They're not great. <laughs> I'm sure that won't come up and be a problem. Oh. Mm. <laughs> uh, talk to Captain first. Understood. So your invisible walls are like your Android programming, and basically. That's so, that, that's that's so fucking cool. Like yeah. I, I, oh God, I'm geeking out about it. Like, cause that's. <laughs> That's such a clever fucking thing because like it is like like heavy rain. I never I never played, but I saw. Uh, and a, one of the biggest fucking problems people had with it was every time that you like fucked up the inputs or something like that, your character would act kind of janky and weird. And they're like, that doesn't make sense because you're playing a human person, but playing an android yeah. in this, they can put walls in for you and be like, no, your programming stops you and tells you to go that way. And every time you act kind of janky and shitty and weird, like the controls fuck up because they're not great. Um, <laughs> it, it's still, it doesn't break immersion because it, you're a fucking robot. Of course you don't walk around around normally like <laughs> of course you look yep. kind of like disjointed and alien in the setting that you're in because you're not a person like oh god that's that's oh it's really good it's so fucking I cool have, honestly okay if david cage would literally only make police like investigation games like this he would like this. If the entire game was just Connor and his partner, or the entire game of Heavy Rain was just Nam and Jaden solving crimes, yeah. like it would be incredible. But I think they didn't, I think, yeah. they didn't do that. I think that would be very cool if they just right? did that. Captain so cool. Captain My name is Connor. Hello. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Yeah, he said the thing. <laughs> Sorry. It's firing and everything. What android? Yeah. It already shot I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. And if it falls, she falls. Um. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh. Deviant's name. Do you know its name? I haven't got a clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Uh. Emotional shock. Has it experienced an emotional shock recently? Listen. Saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Probability of success, down. Uh-oh. Probability uh, go down. Probability has gone down. Understand what happened. Save hostage at all costs. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, unfortunately the captain sucks. is kind of a dickhead. Uh, uh, <laughs> analyze. Oh, it was a house gun. Guys, you gotta... Okay. Lock that shit up. Yeah, you gotta lock that shit up, guys. I wonder if there's a mod to put uh, 
like the PlayStation controller things on Input? this? Uh, yeah. I mean, there probably is. 355s? That's not so bad. I mean, that's still a bullet. It's still a bullet, yeah, but it's not like fucking <laughs> that should, like it's not it, it's not hurt. small. It's not it's not <laughs> bullets kill people, Doc. Come yeah, on. Yeah, none of that hurts. <laughs> Um, MSA 53 Blackhawk, okay. Uh, Reconstruct. Interesting. Oh, you'll like this. Oh, what? Oh, and then there's like the right trigger. Okay. Interesting. Oh, and it, and the bullets just went everywhere when the box fell down. What's this? Deviant took the father's gun. So then, if we watch it, he grabbed the gun, spilled the bullets, and then just opened it, grabbed the weapon. Oh, yep. shit. Oh, and I can move the camera around while I'm doing this. Yeah, it's like a 3D so model can... that he creates. Oh, that's the coolest fucking thing. This has got, oh, yeah. like, this has got Mandroid written all over it. Fuck. Uh, Mandroid's a character in our universe that we <laughs> that we created who's an, a, an anatomically correct robot. Uh, who identifies as male? Understand so, what Connor. happened. Search the head. <laughs> yeah, kind of, yeah, ba basically. <laughs> I'm and gonna hello, be upset MB. that I'm gonna be the 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 dude who I'm gonna be I'm gonna be behind on this. Hmm, human music. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, music by human. <laughs> human music. Hmm. Probability of success up. Play. Uh, hi, Daniel. <laughs> Hello. You fucking angle the camera up to get more than his fucking nose, kid. What's wrong with you? Clearly, this child is not trained in cinematography. S this this nine-year-old child. Kid. Hostages Stupid room. Child. Searched. Okay. Uh, he doesn't want to talk to me. He does not like Connor. <laughs> no. He does not like me. It becomes a trend that he's just a prick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we see him later? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. I don't like that. Get, get used to it. <laughs> uh, get used to the verbal abuse that is absolutely not an allegory for racism. <laughs> yeah, not at all. Confirmed Why would that be? by David Cage. <laughs> That's silly. You're silly. Isn't it silly? Oh, so silly. What's this? It's really silly. Oh, it's bathrooms, I think. Ba Hello. Bathroom. Bathroom. Uh, oh shit, am I running out of time, though? Uh, is there, like, probably. A, is there, like, a clock? Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, well, your chance I just looked in the bathroom and I was just like, mm, this is where humans poop. Anyway. <laughs> Understand. Examine the vi Oh no. Oh no. There's lots of stuff to check out. Make sure you check out Otherwise. everything. DPD officer uh, was first responder. Uh, okay. Let's... I won't tell you what to look at, but make sure you look at everything. Okay, so he got shot. Uh, deceased. Yup, okay. Understood. Gunshot residue. Oh, so he also fired, uh, yep. but he only got one shot off. Reconstruct. All right. Uh, okay. Hostage witnessed the shooting. Oh, hold on. Yeah, we got a. Oh, there it is. At a different, a slightly different angle. Cop shot the deviant. Uh, there's one at the beginning as well. Oh, and because we know that the cop shot the deviant, um, blam. Uh, we need to get to a spot where ah, the gun. Weapon located. Okay. There you go. All right. Interesting. I like how he like figures this all out in basically what's half of a second. Yep. Because he's a robot. Because he's a machine. He's the coolest robot. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll take it. 
Yep. Nice gun. I think I'll take it. If you want. Oh, we've unlocked a thing. Probability of success goes up. Um, no, oh, yeah, that guy's getting shot. Uh, that is a, that's a magazine. Don't really care about that. Uh, <laughs> uh, there's a pot there. There's a thing over there. And another person got shot, I think, over there. What is this? Unmute. The hostage shaker could be the family's android. He may have taken the lives of at least one family member and a police officer. If confirmed, this will be the first case of an android deliberately taking human lives. By all signs, the SWAT team are preparing for an assault. And it's been just over an hour since little girl was That's taken it. hostage on the okay. top then it just loops. Okay. Uh, what is this? Turn that off. Family was about to have dinner. I'm gonna do that a lot, and I'm sorry in advance. That's I'm gonna, okay. I'm gonna make little sound effects with my mouth. <laughs> so you gotta go check out that other body as well. Yep. So oh, the that's cool. Thing cool. About <laughs> yeah. Like a little, little like. So the cool thing about this is you can choose how you want things to go down. Oh. So keep that in mind as you're looking at clues and picking things up. It's oh, a very, it's a Matt Mercer, how do you want to do this, basically. How do you want to do this? Oh no. Lower lung hemorrhage, internal bleeding. Oh yeah, he got, he got shot a bunch. Oh yeah. Shot the kidney, the lung, the shoulder. Oh no, that's upper lung. Yep. All right. And uh, what do we got here? <laughs> Deceased. Deceased. No. Yeah, is he? <laughs> but is, is he though? I, I gotta scan him first. Just to yeah. Make hold sure. on. Hang the. Hold on the phone. All right. So. Oh, he shot him when he wasn't looking. Father was holding something. When he got shot, bam, and then he fell over. What was he holding? There. What's this? Reconstruction complete. When it says uh, events analyzed two of two, does that mean there's nothing else to check? Correct. Okay. In that section. All right. Uh, like check in this particular out. time thing. What yeah, in that little time check. Time check. They were looking to replace him. Cyberlife thanks you for your purchase. Yep. Oh, shit. Unlock the dialogue action. Often beneficial. Shh. Okay, there's a bit more that I can check before I get outside by the looks of it, but I think that's it. I think. I think you've done everything inside the house. I think it's just the things by the exit there. Yeah, there's a couple of objects on the ground. Yeah. That I can scan. Kid's shoe. Little shoe. Child size shoe. Colorful model. <laughs> Hostage could be wounded. Excuse me. <laughs> Just gonna step over that. Collecting data. So that's how he tests samples. He eats it. <laughs> oh god. Deviant model. PL yeah. <laughs> 600. Okay, so, you know what? People are like, oh, that's gross. He puts it in his mouth to analyze data. You also do that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> humans do this. Like, what does this taste like? It's yeah, like yeah, but we... You're we, analyzing your environment constantly through taking data into your mouth and nose. Like, that's how you analyze chemical composition of your surroundings. <laughs> True, but I don't think a police officer would go to a crime scene and be like, mm, blood, and then take a lick. They used to. <laughs> like That's weird. They used to be like, what is this? And then they'd be able to tell, like, if it was a person, if it was a guy or a girl. Like, typically, like, a lot of information could be gleaned by, like, tasting a person's From blood. licking um, blood. Yeah. 
Or they'd like smell. They'd like take it and they'd smell it and be like, how recent is this? Like all okay, other kinds of information. Sense. Like you can get lots of data from like t- smelling and tasting stuff. It's just also <laughs> gross and dangerous. So like a, l- a lot of people <laughs> look down on it being like, you can't do that. That's nasty. It's like, but you do it though. Like you but also, also do the this. hepatitis. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, it's just funny to me. People are like, "Ew, don't do that." I'm like, "You also do that, though." Like, shut up. <laughs> like, you... come on. I want to know what flavor I am. Me too, cutie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what flavor am I, Connor? Tell me. I can't taste good. There's no way. <laughs> There's no way. All right, so we're up to eighty percent. We're up to eighty percent. That's good. Um, All right, there's a couple more things. That's another interesting thing. I asked specifically questions about what was causing the android distress, and the human was like, fuck off. And it lowered Mm -hmm. my chances. So, I mean, I didn't know that that guy was a prejudiced piece of shit going into that conversation, but I could have caught on to it, the fact that he um, was very dismissive and referred to the android as it. Uh, and I think that using, like, and it's so fucking clever if this is a thing, but if I use that to my advantage and I kind of steer conversations to benefit the person I'm talking to, then it could potentially give me more information. I mean, try it out. I think that's, which means I'm correct. (laughs) (laughs) Give it a try. (laughs) Try it. I don't know. You know, shut up. (laughs) No spoilers. No spoilers. (laughs) All right, all right. I'll, I'll explain right. more about it when you're done this sequence because this is the tutorial sequence, right? So it'll yes. give you a feel for this the rest is the, of the tutorial. Game. Oh, Criminy. like this is teaching you, oh. dude. Hostage locate. Oh, that little ring went red for a sec. No, no, please, I'm begging you. He's suffering a very serious malfunction, I think. Hi, Daniel. Uh, my name is Connor. How do you know my name? I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Okay, so let's... All right, so hostage located. Uh, all right, so the... So the... I'll tell you this, because someone didn't tell me this, and I was just standing there for the longest time. You do have to slowly move up as you talk to him. Okay, copy that. Uh, thank yeah. You. <laughs> thank you for telling me. No problem. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody's talking about their flavors now uh, in the chat. <laughs> Everybody, pop off in the chat what you think your flavor is. I'm gonna go with tiger ice cream. Like that. I like su- strawberry. That, that I'll sweet, take strawberry from that sweet orange with the with the licorice mixed in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm su- I'm sweet and flavorful, but also shitty. <laughs> yeah, <there's- laughs> But they complement each I was other very say dark well. And mysterious, but you had to go the <laughs> shitty, like bitter and kind of awful. <laughs> but like they like complement each other. <laughs> bitter and mysterious with sweet flavoring sounds much better than like oh. sweet but kind of like shit. But like a little shitty. Like there's a little bit of shitty in there to make the sweet parts <laughs> stand out a bit more than the rest. Yeah, tiger tail. That's it. It is my favorite ice cream. Um, and I'm. I was at the grocery store earlier this week, and I was really sad that I couldn't find any tiger tail ice cream there. Uh, so it doesn't. It doesn't look like there's anything that I need to interact with. Um, no. Nope. I love that the little the little lights on my arm and that wound. That's very cool. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna slowly approach. Whoa! No! No! Come on! Oh! Fucking gain deviant's trust. Approach slowly. I'm approaching slowly. Is this too fast? Oh. I know you're angry, Daniel. But you need to trust me and let me help. You. I don't want your help. Nobody can help me. All I want is for you got to go around stop. the stuff. Yeah, yeah. There you go. This one always to stop. I want to like you. Uh. No. I don't have a gun. You're lying. I know you have a gun. Okay. I'm telling you the truth, Daniel. I came here unarmed. Okay. Uh, possible cause. They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? They thought I was part of the family. Jesus. They thought I mattered. But I was just their tool. Getting intense. Something to throw away when you're done. 
I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! Um... Um... Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I Don't them. shoot him. You know? But I was nothing to them. <laughs> just a slave to be ordered around. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Get away. Get away. Get away. Yeah, shoot, shoot. The situation is under control. Is it? <laughs> there. Is it under control? I what you want Um. Trust. Trust. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Oh God, I'm, it's not I want enough. I everyone to leave. And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. Okay. Um, 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 um. Uh, I don't know if I'm close enough. Uh, <laughs> Shit! Oh, fuck! The kid, the kid, though. She's fine. Oh, Jesus. An interesting choice. Software instability up. Jesus. Oh, he's so fucking cool. He is so fucking cool. <laughs> that, so. Like, that police officer does not like him. As you can see, there were different branching options. Yeah. So you can do that mission. Uh, you can. Uh, Connor can die. Connor can die the first mission. Yeah, I um, saw that. It was like a uh, sacrifice self. Like yeah, the the kid oh can God. die. Um, the the deviant can die. The deviant can survive. Like there's a bunch of different paths Holy um, shit. that you can take. And if you uh, once you read this and close this out, you'll see all the different branching paths that could have happened. Oh my God! Um, depend this is a scene's yeah. flowchart. Uh, here you can review the paths you've taken, the paths you uh, yet to be explored, and what's possible, what possibilities you've unlocked. Each node earns you points that you can spend in the extra section. Uh, due to the nature of the game, some nodes and endings will not be counted towards the completion of the flowchart. Oh my god. Um, oh my god. So lying about the gun uh, gave me the option to then get closer and then use the gun. I imagine if I told him the truth about the gun, then I'm... I might have gotten worse at that. I'm not sure. Um, then you, whoops. like, you you would have given up the gun? Yeah, maybe I would have, thing. like, thrown it away or something. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, my God. And then I wouldn't have had it at the end to, to save the kid. And it sucks I had to shoot that guy, but, like... So you can save him and not shoot him. That is a thing that you That can is do. an option? This is the that is an option. I almost want to go back and try that, but like, I'm just, I'm just gonna play this through. We're just gonna play this through on its own. Alright. Oh, oh, I can look around. Yeah. Oh! Am I, a, am I, am I another robot? Connor? Oh. It's Chad. It's Chad. Fucking hate Chad, Chad Broski. <laughs> Chad Broski. Interest free credit, and it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. See now, so okay. pre-owned so, model, three grand. Yeah. Three grand for 3, an Android. Dollars. Okay, so one, like assuming that this is the future, three grand, even with no inflation, is fucking amazing for an Android. Right? Uh, I know, like, I have computers that cost me less, and they don't clean my goddamn house. <laughs> uh, so, like, fuck right off on that. Um, right? But two, like, the, the, the least realistic thing that I think about this game that exists is that anyone treats these androids poorly. 
Like, I've seen people treat their computers and their, like, this is like buying a fucking Tesla, for fuck's sake. Like, with the amount of, like, technology that goes into these things and the amount of, like... The, yeah. the, like, like the amount of shit that they do, and how sophisticated this technology is. Like, like, there's, there's, there's no fucking way that people and would treat these poorly. Like, the problem that would actually yeah. come out of having androids like this in our society is humans would stop getting married and having kids. <laughs> You would think that if someone bought a $3,000 piece of technology that talked to them, did their dishes and cleaned their house and did literally everything for them and take care of their kids and shit, that they wouldn't fuck with it, right? You yeah. would think. But You'd David think Cage thinks otherwise. <laughs> David Cage, idiot that he is, was like, nah. <laughs> nah. No. David Cage is like, no, you know what people do? People would definitely <laughs> smack around their androids 100%. People hunt they would, would beat up their robots, would, right, you guys? domestically abuse their robots <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna turn the volume down just a touch because we're peaking and i want to make sure that we're okay um but yeah there's there's there is no no fucking way that people we're being treat too their, passionate their, yeah, about these like, robots. people treat their fucking computers and cars like people and their computers and cars don't walk around talk back to them and do their dishes like yep Come, come on! Get, forgetting the fact that I'm almost positive these robots fuck. So, <laughs> like... <laughs> you, uh, uh, I will give you one spoiler, and the spoiler is that there is fuckable models of robots. That, that yes, these robots fuck? Yeah, of course these they robots do. Robots can fuck. That's, that's your spoiler. <laughs> like, of, of fucking course they do. People pay three grand just for dicks and vaginas that are mechanical. <laughs> Let alone dicks and vaginas that can, like, give you pillow talk and then clean you up after. Like, fuck off. Like, <laughs> but, but no, no you, I'm going to abuse it and stuff. No, you yep. wouldn't. <laughs> like, <laughs> you dumb piece of shit. No. I'm literally like, crying. The fact that these robots exist, not the least, not not not, not the thing that dis that suspend my disbelief. Like, no, it's the fact that people treat these anything but like gods at any point in time. But no, they're actually treated really terribly, and everybody hates them. And it's an allegory for not racism. It isn't Let's though. Not it's that. not. Don't forget. No, not at all. Nope. Oh yeah, also, everybody who's in the chat, at any point in time, if you want to clip the shit out of this, please do so. Not only do clips always stay on our channel, uh, and it's absolutely fantastic because we pay premium for that, but uh, we also get the ability to throw them into future compilations, which I'm hoping to get back into once I like sort like one or two things out on this end. I'm, I'm looking to do it on weekends when I'm not streaming. Uh, that's hopefully going to be my thing. We'll take it. <laughs> An excellent choice. Oh yay! If a nice couple you, buying a robot. Aww. Hmm. The NP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Hmm. Come along, and I'll show you. Many other functions. Well, the dude who's selling it's also a fucking robot. <laughs> I just noticed that when he's just like, they also have many other functions, and I'm like, you said that kind of weird, and his head jostle is kind of stupid, and I was like, all right, and then I noticed the little fucking diode on his head also i will say good pickup on the little uh circle being red with connor yeah that is, when he got shot, that is it relevant flickered like just a moment it went red and then back to normal and i'm like oh he's red ringing look out <laughs> like yes like, yeah oh, the, the red ring of death <laughs> is relevant <laughs> oh i love it oh i love it so much oh my god and i love i just want to take a hot second here to point out that like this guy is ready for business <laughs> This asshole like he can absolutely okay. is just like on the side of the store, like ready to fucking like get over and fucking make a problem. Like that guy looks like he is about to start okay. a fight at Chili's. Like I have a, I have a <laughs> at Chili's. I have a, a a part of my. So when I finished this game, I had a mm. forty five minute TED Talk experience <laughs> about how much I loved slash hated it. To oh my god. Oh. Um, <laughs> And um, part of that TED talk was this next scene coming up, so I want to. Oh, I, I just want to talk about it when it's done. Because... All right, cool. Oh yeah, see, look Boy. at this. Look at him. Look at him coming. Oh, is he a character? Look like he can afford a robot to you. 
Get it, it back in working order. Really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Hmm. Can I press X to doubt? <laughs> How oddly relevant this is to the <laughs> conversation we were having. Like, I'm like, this guy looks like an asshole. This guy looks like an abusive piece of shit who's going to start a fight at Chili's. And then immediately he comes up and they're like, yeah, so this robot was super fucked when we got it. Um, but we got it repaired. What did you say happened? Oh, I got hit by a car. No, it fucking didn't. Screw you. Like, like. Can yeah, I, X is in chat to dope. Please. Yeah, can I press X to dope, please? Like, what the fuck? All right, all right, all right. Uh, oh. See. Uh. Anyway, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> but it's just like hit by a car. Yeah, I got hit by a car. Is that why I found all these like hand marks all over it, like it's, and like dumb piece of shit written on the the model? Like, what, yeah, is that what? It, okay, yeah, anyway. Did, did the car way, grab a pen? <laughs> yeah, like fucking. We had to wipe its memory. Oh, I had to wipe its memory. Line. Okay. Be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX four hundred. Register your name. Kara. Okay. Look at his face. Look at that yep. fucking look on him right now. Like, Jesus. Jesus! Yep. <laughs> God, he could not hate you more, whoever you are. Kara, I guess. Uh... He he could literally hate you. He couldn't he couldn't hate you more than this. Like, I don't understand. My name is Kara. Oh, she's cute. I love Kara. She's great. All the androids so far, the characters that we've been introduced to, are have been very cute. Connor is such a handsome boy. Detroit. There's uh there's Android one city. more boy. Oh, is there one more boy? There's I'm one told more boy. There's a guy from Scrubs or something. What? The dude who plays the the next android is from Scrubs or something? I don't know. Oh, maybe. I don't I've know. I've fragmented bits of this game. <laughs> like, the stuff I know is super fucking out of, like, disjointed and out of touch. Hey, drones. Those aren't a problem. <laughs> a fist! <laughs> what kind of statue is that? Just fist. Fuck this city! Like, just... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I love it. I don't, I don't know. Like, if someone came to me, if I was mayor, and someone came to me and was like, I want to put this art installation in, in the middle of this park, and it's just an arm just punching, I'd be like, yeah. Do, do, it. do it. Like, yeah, fuck it. Absolutely. <laughs> like, Here, gotta, take my credit I want card. More of these. Can we also get, like, a boot stepping on something? Like, is there... <laughs> like I don't know. Okay, Can we sorry. place them across from each other so they can bro fist? Yeah, like... like... <laughs> Bam! Please? What a nice robot. Look I would have several robots. Propaganda. Yeah. I would have like four or five robots and they'd all be my friends. Right? It's I mean, it's a sad friends. thing to say out loud, but like, <laughs> I would just be like, I would love to have a ton of robots just hang out with me all the time. And have them ask me well, stuff that... like, Doc, what is friendship and i'd be like oh shit dude sit down i'm gonna tell you some stuff like let me introduce well, you to the point of this game condition. oh and they have to let, like have designated standing areas yeah fucking really like if, if i understand this correctly they're indistinguishable from human beings save for the little ring on their the side of their head pretty much and the blood obviously because they the bleed blue. oh blood. yeah they, their, their blood is blue so look where she's going right now yeah this is the ghetto She's going to the slums of Detroit. Detroit slums How are like the, the, the A-plus slums of the whole world. Like, if you want to... How the fuck? Yeah, how does he afford this robot? Does this man afford this robot? Explain this to me, David Cage. Explain. Explain! Yeah, this guy. America, explain. <laughs> explain as you would a child. It's a so boy. Like... Oh yeah, this guy. Would you like to go, home now? go to Bellini Paint Shop. Yes, I think that's enough. Oh, that's nice. Let me help you. Oh, that's nice. Oh, oh look you. at that. Personal support worker android. Yes, cause say, like, that's a, that's fantastic. 
Oh my goodness. Uh, I, War I would have stayed Warden to says, read. Doc, what is friendship? <laughs> Beep boop, <laughs> where's Mega Man? <laughs> Beep boop, where's Mega Man? Use your arm cannon. <laughs> Do a slide dash. <laughs> hey, Warden, how's it going, buddy? <laughs> Now, PSA, androids, robots should definitely be a thing. Yeah. Oh, God. Just living on 8 Mile. But, like, that's fantastic if there's, like, old elderly people that need to be taken care of. And I know that a lot of people are like, oh, it's going to replace the nursing industry. I'm like, so many industries get automated, and there are so many people who work in the nursing industry who are great big pieces of shit. So... I would happily automate the fuck out of the nursing industry if it meant that people got better care. Yep, 100%. Like, sorry not sorry, like, the, the, a hundo, hundo P, I would, I would do that. I can't scan the pigeons. No, but I can scan that book. Scan I would have read, like, because there was a magazine that I could have read in the house when I was playing as Connor at the beginning, and I want to go back and read it, but, like, I was scared that I was on a clock and that it was going to be like, nah. You gotta go do shit, because heavy rain was apparently really bad for that. Uh, that it, certain it scenes, when you thought you had time to f sort of fuck around, it was suddenly like, nope, you don't have time, and yep, you gotta go do some shit. Um, so if, if that's the case, then I gotta be careful with how I spend my time. But I think I'm not on too much... You got, you got time for Marcus. I got time Who's for Marcus. Marcus, got, time? Uh, Marcus yeah. got time to read a book. Tech Addict. He does. Uh, page one. Secrets of Androids. Okay. I'm sorry. Are, I'm sorry. Are magazines fucking tablets in the future? Yep. All of the magazines are tablets. How do people afford this? Who fucking knows? Every magazine's a tablet. And you're just <laughs> sitting on the bench. Like, just... Just, just vibing. Fucking sitting out. You know what, though? Fair is fair. Once upon a time, not more than a hundred years ago, uh, like having a newspaper or having a, a, a readable book was a big fucking deal. Like, True. you would not leave those just lying around somewhere. People wouldn't just, like, read something and then throw it away. Like, they kept their newspapers. If you want to know why super old people keep piles of fucking newspapers everywhere, it's because that's what people used to do back in the day. <laughs> Technology is cheap in the future. Well, yeah, Technology Kara. is cheap um, the, in the future. The way that technology has become cheap and, like, print on paper is a form of technology, remember. The the way that it becomes cheaper is through, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Mass production and availability of resources. So, like, for for example, with the uh, Tesla motors, the, the, the Tesla electric cars that were being released, originally, when they first started creating the roadsters and the luxury models and stuff like that, they were really expensive because all of the parts in those cars had to be custom made. Like, there were no manufacturers that made a lot of the parts that those vehicles used. But once they made enough money, they started opening factories and making contracts with people. And now they get all of the specific parts, all the battery pieces and everything else that they need to make those cars mass produced. So now the cars cost like one one hundredth of what they used to cost. Uh, like for 30 grand, you can get a Tesla now, like the Model 3s, for nothing by comparison to other cars, right? Well, even electric cars in general, like I think a Nissan Leaf goes for like 17 grand or something. Yeah. Like, and that's like a fully electric <laughs> little hatchback, you know? What makes and... me laugh about that stuff is that the electric motors and all the parts and stuff, once they entered mass production, are like infinitely cheaper than combustion engines. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> it requires like uh, so much less bullshit to like put in the car and make it work. Like you don't have to worry about like temperature regulation as much or like a whole bunch of other bullcrap. So fantastic. Uh, and all, like, and all this is doing, really, is, like, androids, like, quote-unquote, replacing the nursing industry and replacing all these industries. It's just changing the nature of industries so yeah. that instead of people going more into, let's say, nursing, they're going to be going into things like robotics because you're going to mm -hmm. need people to fix the androids and yep. to program the androids and stuff like that. So it's just changing where people are being placed in industries, not necessarily replacing people oh, you know precisely. and not only that but like on a much more like macro level like on a higher level uh within society we don't need as many people when you automate things population no. tends to go down after you automate a bunch of shit because now in order to like build a building or lay train tracks or do whatever that's been automated at this point build cars it requires like 
infinitesimally less people than it used to. You used to have to do a whole bunch of shit by hand, and it used to cost you a lot of manpower and a lot of lives, frankly, in order to make shit and to do things. But they've made machines now that do those things for you. So we just have people that make and maintain and design and implement technology. And the, and the technology does all the other stuff for us. So in a society like this, where you have a lot of these robots that suddenly replace a lot of like service industry jobs and nursing jobs and stuff like that, now there's no pressure for families to have fucking 12 kids because you don't need kids to do all this shit anymore. Like also, who can don't afford 12 have, kids? Uh. Well, exactly. Like who can afford in this economy? <laughs> what are you talking about? Like, yeah, right. <laughs> Not only can you not afford them in this economy, but, like, imagine you could. You don't need to. Like, farmers don't need to have, like, 12-plus children on their farms in order to run their farms. They have machines that do all this stuff for them now. Like, it's, it's automated, largely. So the, you don't have to do that. And it's great that, like, the, the manpower is not required. And a lot of people get scared because they're like, oh, I'm going to lose my job or this industry is going to become automated. It's like, yes. It's, it's not that you're losing your job. It's no one has to do this now. As much as you wanted to be the guy that fucking does the plow out in the field to plant the corn and, like, by hand push little fucking seeds into the ground one at a time, you don't have to do that. I don't care how much you enjoyed it. It's not needed anymore. You can, you now have the luxury, the opportunity to do what you want. Like, to do other things with your life. And Cutie makes a good point, too, is that, like, the like for in a situation like nursing, for example, like, a nurses in a hospital are insanely overworked to the point yeah. that it's obscene. And <laughs> that wouldn't be the case if, like, you wouldn't even have to fully automate the industry. You could yeah. even just say, like, night shift is for androids and, like, on day shift you take um, regular nurses, let's say, like, human nurses, right? Yeah. Like, at least it would yeah. give people a chance to live their lives, you know? Yeah. It's, like, it... It outside burns of their jobs people out like doctors and nurses get burnt like crazy doing their jobs because they're working so, ugh, excuse me so often and so hard that it like like she said the give a fuck meter hits rock bottom like they they just they lose empathy for their for for like everything that they're doing so i think that it's fantastic that they're that like things get automated like that because imagine like you don't have to have any fucking like overnight nursing shift people anymore you can just have like the androids hold down the fort for the night and then regular doctors can come in during the day like great <laughs> like, yeah, like i'm yep. there's no part of me that thinks that this is a bad fucking idea and everyone's like well but you know some people like maybe it'll malfunction and it'll hurt somebody and i'm like you know how often human fucking beings malfunction and kill people like just daily Humans malfunction all the time. <laughs> yeah, like I malfunction on a daily fucking basis. I was when gonna I can't say, remember I the malfunction. word for trees or something. Like, like I don't know. Don't forget the Spumante Bambino episode. Yeah, the fucking <laughs> fizzy boy. Like, the fizzy boy. Like yeah, the fucking the Spumante Bambino incident of 2020. Uh, like <laughs> it's, it's like that's the thing. Like it's it's fantastic. Um. Don't worry, I'm, I'm not going to forget to play the game. I'll get back to it. I just, I'm going to stop and go on rants every now and then. I apologize. Because, like, this is, this is such a thing that, I, that I'm so passionate about. Um, and, the, yeah, the, the, the native way, uh, while we were playing um, Assorted Unicorns, they forgot the word for something. <laughs> uh, I and, forgot. I was at the grocery store with yeah. Steve. And I, uh, <laughs> Steve was like, can you get my mom some rosé? Because I don't know anything about wine. And I was like, the only wine they have is fucking, you know, fuzzy. And he was like, what do you mean fuzzy? And I'm like, spumante. And he's like, what the fuck are you saying? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, no. you know, it's like fuzzy. And he was like, carbonated? And I'm like, yeah, 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 that thing. And he's like, you were what the fuck is spumante and it's like it's carbonated in italian i it's couldn't italian. remember the word for carbonated yeah, because, like your first your first language is carbonate is is, uh, is is italian education yeah, your first language is carbonated see there you go there's my point my first language is carbonated yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> yeah the whole problem with this idea is yeah the education system is not built to support people being forced back into the school to learn a new career i mean no 
I mean, yes and no. The, 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 I, I mean, talk to, like, anybody who's gone back into the education system. There are ways to get back into the education system. I mean, in Ontario, uh, we have an entire program called, uh, like, Second Careers or something that's specifically yeah. made for people to go back to school and get a second career. Yeah, and it's government-funded. Like, also, yeah, Envy's gone back right? twice. Like, it's not great, and it's worse in the States for sure. Because uh, the States very much has, like, a, a a mentality of, like, whatever you pick to do when you're a kid is what you will do forever. Um, and it's, like, it's not impossible. It's not ideal in some places. But, like, it's possible. You can absolutely do it. Uh, yeah. But, yeah. Uh, it's never too late to go back to school, learn different stuff, do different things. Never, uh, ever. But, yeah. Like, human beings malfunction all the fucking time. And the case in point being, like, burnt out of your fucking empathy because you've been worked too hard and paid too little. Uh, that happens to nurses, happens to doctors, happens to anybody in law enforcement, happens to everybody in the TTC. Like, like, like public transit, like anything. The service industry alone, like, people burn out and freak out and dump food on people and say, fuck this, I quit and walk out. It's like, yeah, that's what happens. Like, that's, that's human malfunction to a point. Uh... So, yeah. Yep. It's fucking crazy. Anyways, sorry. I mean, um, the whole point of this game is how androids can also malfunction like people. That's literally the point of this game, and is our androids people, right? Yeah, well, and, and here's the thing. If you, and I've been thinking about this a lot lately because I had, like, a bit of an experience taking some medication a little while ago. Um, if you remove the concept of the soul from human beings... Uh, and you look at human beings very objectively as mounds of chemicals that experience their environment and are self-aware, right? Uh, and we are intelligent to a point, and we... I oh, am man. talking about the cost of college. The cost of college. Yeah, Rainer, I mean, well, it depends on what you're trying to get into. Like, some courses aren't that expensive, depending on what you're trying to do. And a lot of also courses depends on where you live. Their, yeah, and, and where you live. Like, some of them, they're free, depending on where you are. Uh, other ones, they're not that pricey. And then other ones, it depends on what you're trying to get into. It's not pricey. Like, I received training to be an electrician for free because the government very badly needed people to be trained as electricians. Uh, so, it depends. Um, but yeah, if you remove the idea of the, the, the soul from the human condition, you look at human beings objectively as like just, you know, walking, talking chemical reactions that are very complex and sophisticated, then these androids like are people. If you, if you, if you really, if you really gauge like what, what deserves rights and what should be a human being, um, or at least considered to have the same rights as a human being as walks and talks and looks like this and thinks objectively, then, like, then, then that's it. Like, that's, it's a person. Like, you should, you know, like, just like, oh, well, I made it, so therefore it doesn't have rights. People make other people all the fucking time, and they all have rights. What's wrong with you? <laughs> that's like, true. It's a good point. Yeah, that's like, a good point. human beings make other human beings every fucking day, and they all get rights, mostly. Depending where you're from, <laughs> like uh, mostly, mostly. Uh, um, but like the the fact that people are like, oh well, it's a machine, so you can't. It's like no, the, like it, it's not distinguishable. What just because it has blue blood and it's made from technology and not like organ gut goop, then that then that that's your distinguishing factor. Fuck you. Like this, the- they they do get into like the intricacies of it as you play through the game. Like okay. they do ask those kinds of questions, so like that will come up. Um, okay. The more you explore it, you'll oh, you'll see so, more of that. I'm so excited as you go through. Sorry, I'm just like, I have no, it's so, okay. Well, because like the the emergence of AI and the implementation of androids in society is a huge part of the building a better world uh, seminars that I give at conventions, and like it's it's one of the it things is. that I'm like I want to replace all law enforcement with androids because yeah. I don't think humans should be allowed <laughs> to uphold the law. I think that's silly. Um, Maybe in Canada, here in the states, there is the mentality that oh, yeah, if you, if go, you to go to college, college prepare to be in debt for the rest of your life. Prepare yeah. to be in debt for the rest of your life. Yeah, Rainer, you're not wrong about that. Uh, that can be pretty rough at times. Womp womp. Um, yeah. So uh, I'm hoping they get more into it because this, and I like, I'm gushing about this so much because, like I said, this is something that I'm very, very passionate about and very knowledgeable in. So I'm, I'm so fucking stoked. All right. All right. <clears throat> anyway, um, designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge. 
Cyberlife had to overcome Jason. Oh, Cyberlife had to overcome Jason Graf, uh, director of the humanization department of Cyberlife, unveiled some of his design secrets in our recent interview. The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expressions, and we soon realized that there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. It's a very Matrix that, like... Uh, yeah. They also talk about it in Bicentennial Man, where they're like, making people look perfect isn't what people look like because people aren't perfect. It's the imperfections, the little details that make you human. Uh, so making artificial humans requires you to make, you know, people that look a little fucked. Uh, like, and as as the character says, he's like, "Look at my face. Look, you see how my nose is like bulbous and irregular." And the guy's like, "Yeah, it's huge." And he's like, "Okay, jerk." <laughs> like, he's, like, he's like, "But like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is this, you know, um, yeah, perfect imperfections. Yeah." Uh, Cyberlife worked on a way to humanize its machines so that they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. Enter our homes is not, not, a, not something you want to say. Uh, like that, that feels so that like, they can enter our homes. Uh, so so that they can enter our homes. <laughs> like, like, I don't like that. I don't like the sound of that at all. Like, or rather, I like it, but I know that your average like consumer is going to be uncomfortable. Um, they, cre they created androids of both genders and all ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Uh, realistic blinking was preferred, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. I think that that's so fascinating that they're like, we made them so that they could, that they would blink and breathe. I would spend probably, if I had a real life android, like one of these things, I would spend like a week just looking at it up close uh just like standing very close to it just like watching it blink and like i would breathe. like feel it and i yeah just be like touching it on its face like like that scene in fucking hook yeah. where the kid comes up and just gets all up into robin williams's business like 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 that would be me i'd be that kid just be like what it's like oh because like what does it feel like the artificial skin and like everything yeah. like, would be so fascinating like i'm fucking curious about that shit dude like they do some really cool uh stuff with like the body um later on you'll see oh i'm i'm pretty hyped for you to oh, see dude, it you're gonna yeah. be really hyped about um it. the perfect simulation of humanity down to details that androids simply don't need is the secret of cyber life's design success truth be told if i had an android in my home i would want one that didn't specifically look like people i would be happy with one that looked like an android. Uh, like I would, I would almost prefer it, uh, but that's me. Um, oh, climate change up. How the environment is changing America's society. Miami to heighten seawall further by ten by by further ten meters. Oh God. Oh yeah, that's gonna happen. Miami's got a seawall. Of course it does. Why don't, why don't we just let the sea reclaim Florida? <laughs> we, we don't need Florida anymore. Come on. <laughs> We, we don't need that. It's we, fine. Nobody needs that headache. Come on. Says the Canadians. <laughs> yeah, like just, just leave Florida to die. I think that we can all just sort of amputate that state and just move on with our lives. I think we'll all be better for it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to apologize to anybody that lives in Florida. Because I know that anyone who lives in Florida is like, yes, please. <laughs> like, just let us die. I'm sorry. I'm laughing at Balthus's hilarious autocorrect. <laughs> Danny the android is like family until you need quick cash breastfeed huge, huge market, market and use androids <laughs> <laughs> oh god fuck my breast life breastfeed <laughs> huge market breastfeed huge markets <laughs> Oh, man. A recent U.S. census has found that as sea levels continue to rise and climate change leads to more and more extreme weather, America's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich. Uh, of course it is. Waterside real estate uh, in once top attractions like Miami and Los Angeles are experiencing a fright flight with wealthy residents opting for uh, proprieties further inland or at higher altitudes, places like Detroit. Um, which is why Detroit doesn't look like a big bucket of shit in this game, I imagine. Uh, I this... mean, not <laughs> most of it. <laughs> There's still slums. Uh, th th these aren't ordinary slums. These are D Detroit slums. They're advanced They're still slums. Based, base Detroit. <laughs> yeah, like base. Base. 
Um, this is driving up prices in once rural areas and plummeting house values in previously desirable neighborhoods. Whilst this might sound like an opportunity for poorer Americans to enjoy a new lifestyle, the reality is less attractive. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climate weather. Uh, you know what? Okay, you know what's really funny? They're predicting the future as being like this. Oh, no, the global warming is destroying. Like, what's that going to do to the economy? And I think that this is a fun thought experiment. Don't get me wrong. But what we're experiencing in the little in the short future just after this game came out is things like fire tornadoes. Like, whoever had yep. fire tornadoes for their bingo in 2020 can pump that one off. Like, fuck. <laughs> Fire tornadoes, fucking COVID. Oh my god. <laughs> oh gosh. The, this year just is just so Trump fucking in general. Yeah. I mean, just his existence. Uh... <laughs> Cleveland. We're not Detroit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Someone on my Facebook just pointed out that it feels like we're just in the middle of a Jumanji game, and I don't think anything better describes 2020 <laughs> yet. Like, someone keeps rolling the, the rolling the dice, and just wackier and wackier shit keeps happening. Another Robin Williams movie. What the fuck? <laughs> Robin Williams, come back. We miss Please, you. save us. Um, oh, God. Yeah, they're like, uh, so urban development specialist uh, Arnold Waters calls this uh, the donut effect, whereas by the previous centers of coastal cities get hollowed out. Uh, the census is just the latest example of how climate change is affecting American societies in ways previously not imagined, uh, altering not only the face of our environment, but even the social fabric of our nation. I think that's really interesting, to be yeah, honest. I think, I think that's that's fucking cool. Like, I think that's a very cool thought experiment. Uh, it explains why Detroit's not shitty. Yeah. That That's, like, a, a cool thing. Because, like, no part of Detroit looks like this. Because that was my first question, is why choose Detroit? Yeah. Well, of all it, places. It has the highest... Oh, and I actually can't go that way. There's, like, a wall. Right? Yeah, because I'm going programming. to the store. I, I can't You're going stick to the around. Store. I gotta go to the store. Oh, there's a dude jogging with his droid. Oh, I can left button. Hey, I can look water. at this. Water me. Wow. So like, rude. God. Like, there's a, like, again, there's a part of me that's like, no. Like, that wouldn't happen. Like, just throws it back to So, him. okay. A nice little thing there. I, I, think it, I think I saw that right, at least. But mm. notice how he, like, throws the bottle in the droid's face or whatever, yeah. right? And then runs, and he's the one that pushes over the lady. Yeah. I think that's a very interesting detail that, like, he's right? the asshole uh, in this particular The droid situation. didn't do shit. The droid yeah. went around her properly, but he's the one that, like, knocks her over with the shoulder. Yeah, he, like, bumps into her and she's like, hey, what the fuck? And I he, think like, that's a nice, by. really nice He doesn't nice even detail. say sorry. He didn't even say sorry. Like, he just fucks yep. off. Um, really I, nice detail there, I think. I fully agree. I think that's a very cool detail. But also, like, the only time I would throw this water bottle to my android is to be like, hey, buddy, catch. And, like be fun about it like i wouldn't be like here, here and just like fucking throw it at him like a piece of shit come on <laughs> all right so i gotta go over that way but i'm gonna stop real quick i'm gonna look at these i'm gonna look at these robots my robot friends oh that and one's android also parking. a robot android parking god damn it <laughs> oh yeah she even said welcome to android parking yeah that's Sorry. what it says on the sign it says android parking <laughs> Uh, I gotta go that way. Oh, there's a fella playing music here. Hello. Oh, he's got that hat on, so you don't know if he's a... You don't know if he's an android. Human music. One dollar to hear music with soul. All I can think about is that Rick and Morty thing when... Like, Jerry's driving down the street in a simulation and the radio comes on and it's like, and now up next, uh, human music. And then it's like, <laughs> boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, and he's just like, huh, human music. <laughs> like, that's, that's all I think of whenever I see this shit. Like, <laughs> human music. Uh, okay, well, he's a... It's a busker. He's buskin. The end is nigh. Retribution is at hand. 
Technology What's up, my is man? corrupting us. Technology is evil. He said, wearing glasses. We are playing God by creating machines, but we are not God. We are nothing but dust. Why do you look at me so, demon? Jesus. I know who you are. I can see through you. You are the one by whom the evil will come. You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Hmm. I mean... We make these androids in our own I mean, image, was that a spoiler? Because, <laughs> like, 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 that does not... That didn't sound like a ranting of a madman. That sounded like a spoiler just now. <laughs> hmm. God damn it. Hmm. Hmm. I have never heard that voice line before. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, there's nothing really else I can look at over there. See, the thing is, it's really hard to, like, spoil this game unless you're like, here are, like, all 17 endings. Because yeah. there's, like, a million different ways that you can play it, and there's a million different endings that you can have. So it's not, yeah. like, it, it's hard to spoil, I right? Imagine Detroit oh, chosen, hey, we so got a big donation from, uh, from Plant here. Oh shit! Repurposed it to be used to make the androids. Yeah. Sort of like how Detroit was also used in Deus Ex. <laughs> yeah, the human revolution. Human revolution to make cybernetic augmentations for, for people. people. That is correct. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. I mean, there's like there's like 30 ways that they could have explained why it was Detroit, not something else. There is my objective. All right. Bellini paints. Because, yeah, I'm not sure what decisions you're going to make in this game, right? Yeah. So, I I don't know so where you're going to end up. Oh, God. You could kill every character. Oh. <laughs> Identification verified. Oh, he has, like, his hand was like a robot hand there for a second. Can they not, can they just, like, not have skin? Here's your order number 847. That will be 6399. <gasps> Please confirm. Payment. Also, notice the armbands as well. Yeah. Oh, and that's that's like a big allegory for the fucking Holocaust right there. Be right? Real. But it's not about race. Oh, that guy's confirmed. also a robot. Yeah. Transaction complete. Okay, I uh, don't mind if I do. Have a nice have a nice day. I guess. It has nothing huh. to do with the Holocaust. Package collected. Nothing at all. Take bus home. And yeah, the way that guy was talking to me, I'm like, no way he's not a robot. Like he's a robot. Yeah, that guy's a robot. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Is it suddenly nighttime? It I think it's just slightly it was... darker. Oh, it's just, okay. No, it's just the shade. It's just, yeah, it's just the shade in here. All right, cool. Uh, All right, so I got to go that way somewhere. So many details. Yeah, I spent a lot of time just looking around the environments when yeah. I played this. Oh, where'd the ranty man go? The ranty man's gone. I just think it's silly where it's like, technology is evil. Like he said, wearing glasses. Wearing glasses. And clothing, <laughs> speaking through a loudspeaker. Like, oh, did he move? Is he over there now in front of the bus stop? Yeah, of course he is. This is gonna, this is gonna suck. Uh, oh boy. We gotta go take the bus. Yeah, we gotta go take the bus. Go get the bus. Yep. You know what? No, I'm gonna walk past these guys. Ladies and gentlemen, our next yeah, Fuck it. Yeah, hey, folks, you going, Tin Can? Mm -hmm. oh, fuck off, dude. <laughs> no kidding. Faster. Hey, guys, check it out. We got one of those tin cans here. Call me a toaster. Look at this little motherfucker. You steal our jobs, but you can't even stand up. Uh, okay, I guess I will try to stand up. Yep. <laughs> okay. You ain't going anywhere. We're gonna fuck your bitch ass up. Yeah, waste it. Do it. Alright. It's enough. Leave it alone. Let us teach this bastard a lesson. Damage it, I'm gonna have to find you. Teach it a lesson. It's a fucking robot you your by job. your admission. That's what I was gonna say. Like what? Okay. Like 
what do they expect the yeah. outcome of this is going to be? Well, that's the thing, is that that then is the truth of the whole I want to teach this person a lesson thing. It's not about educating people. It's about just, it's just releasing aggression and abusing others. Like, that's all it is. Absolutely. Because uh, what are you going to teach? Like, you, what yeah. are you going to teach it? What are you going to teach that this That humans thing? suck. Yeah, <laughs> like. What you're going to teach it? If, like, and that and that is assuming that they can learn, right? Because if they can learn, then, then yeah, you're just going to teach it that humans are fucking garbage and that y you are 100%, like, within your right to replace them because they're obsolete and they suck. Uh, yeah. But if they don't learn, like, what are you doing? You're like it's it's like people are kicking the shit out of a fridge. Like why? <laughs> like what are you what are you gonna like you the person you're mad at is the people that made the fucking thing, dumbass. Like jeez. <sighs> like the cops just like it's property. Like, Literally property. If you if you break it, I'm going to have to fine you. <laughs> like don't be stupid. <laughs> you dumb piece. Of I wonder if I could walk back there. I mean, you could try. Yeah. Taking our place. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> the bus is not this way. <laughs> Just son, the bus is not over there. <laughs> like, like, okay. No, no, no this entry not... for purchased androids. Okay, interesting. I guess I'll wait. Is this a bus stop? Uh, oh, I can wait for the bus right here. No, nope. okay. Nope. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it was a whole. And. Take a guess where the androids sit. Oh, is it fucking back of the bus? Do they stand at the back of the bus? They stand at the That's back of the bus. That's actually more dangerous for them to stand. Because they're standing without they... hanging on to shit. They could fall over if the bus driver fucking, it... like, jostles the bus. That's thousands of dollars of property back yeah. there. What's but wrong with you? It's not about race. It's not about race. Bro. But it's not about it's race, not though, race. guys. This has never it's happened not. before. This never, is not, not about once. race. Not not once has this happened. No. No. <laughs> Dumb piece of shit. God damn it. <laughs> See, realistically, it's not what I. It's not like, the games does... that I hate. It's just David Cage as a human being. Yeah, like this game's <laughs> fucking brilliant. David Cage accidentally stumbles into amazing shit. Dumb fucking idiot that he is. Oh god. Uh, oh, I can check world like... stats. Show legend. Continue. Okay. Um. Oh, there was some stuff I missed. I wonder what I missed. Hmm. Oh no. World stats. Oh yeah. See. Oh, the, the, the protesters is, harass is that, Marcus. Okay. Yeah. Listen to the bus guy. Is that he makes games that are actually very good. Um, <laughs> but like... They're ac like, they're actually very good in yeah. concept, but they're uh, just... They're just bumblefucked in a way. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's by bizarre. accident. It's wholly by accident yeah. that he that he achieves anything. Like, it's like, ridiculous. Like, okay, you know the original con what the original concept for Heavy Rain was supposed to be? What? The original concept for Heavy Rain was supposed to be that Ethan was having blackouts because he had a sight like a, a psychic connection with the Orami killer. So the reason that he was having the blackouts is because he had this psychic connection, and that's why he thought he was the origami killer, because he was having visions of these kids being killed. So it gave an entire reason to him actually having those visions to begin with, and instead, they just removed that from the game, so you just have this fucking man who just keeps having these blackouts for no reason. And he- that- that's the- that's the detective, isn't it? No, that's like the dad. That's the dad. <laughs> Fuck. And then they just race. removed yeah. it for no okay. reason. And I was like, why would you remove that from the game? Yeah. <laughs> that would have been brilliant. That would have been such a good game. Oh, I know. I and you know, know what? It's it's funny that you talk about this, uh, Tonberry, because it's like they've already made sex androids. Like, yes, they have. Um, uh, it, like, okay. Sp Spoots, yes. Spoilers. For games that, that came out like that a decade ago. Uh, that wasn't a spoiler for the game because they removed that concept completely. Yeah, it's just something they took like, the game, so they took out of it. But they it's removed just, that. It's literally just <laughs> like he just has little blackout like vision time with for no reason. The, uh, the blackout the blackouts still yeah. happen, but there is no vision, and the blackouts happen at the very beginning of the game, so it's no spoilers. Don't worry. I got eighty percent complete. <laughs> and so, not, so not only did I miss something, but I missed something that connected to another thing. Hmm. I don't actually know which one that is. 
oh man i'm gonna and, fuss about this later uh, and i imagine <laughs> their feet their feet magnetized to the bottom of the bus that's true that's a good point i mean maybe that would they don't, make sense. they don't show that they just show them standing back there that's oh because i was literally planning on streaming that game oh well then yeah like don't worry about it i had that game ruined for me um, That's unfortunate, because that game ruined is like, not good. <laughs> like, just... Like, I never actually played it. I just watched some videos for it, because, right, like, literally the week the game came out, I went to a con, like, DTAC, and I'm not going to tell you, like, anything that ruins it, but someone showed up dressed up as the origami killer, and I didn't know, uh, and I was just um... like, oh, dude, this is like, like, you know, like, hey, this is a cool cosplay. Like, what are you cosplayed as? And the person just, like, takes out a thing of origami and puts it on the table, uh, that's got like a little bit of blood, like you know, painted on with a marker, and he's and he's like, "Yeah, I'm the origami killer," and I was like, "Fuck you, man! Why would you do this? Fuck you, dude! You fucking asshole!" And he's like, ha, I... ha, 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 and then walked away, and I'm like, "What a piece of shit! What a piece of shit! Like, fuck off! <laughs> God damn that it!" Game... That game is quite good <sighs> when you play it the first time, like yeah. before you know what happens. It's quite yeah. good. Uh, yeah. Oh, and I've bus served Tom Beer, don't get me wrong, but it's, like, a whole bunch of them standing in close proximity like that. The bus just needs to, like, hit a bad bump and everybody's gonna go all over the place. Like, there's no poles for them to grab onto back there. And they they have made robots at this point who do sex. Like, they've made robots who fuck at this <laughs> point in the story. So you're gonna get a lot of fucking, like, uh, what's that guy that's complaining about wet-ass pussy? Uh, what's his face? Oh, uh, I don't remember his Emby name. Emby was telling me about this the other really day. Emby, tell me about the tell me about who the, who this guy was. Like, you're gonna get a lot of that kind of asshole uh, going all over the place, being like, oh, "I don't like that robots can satisfy women better than me." Meh. Like, no, shut up, <laughs> fucking dick. I would buy a sex android. I ain't even gonna lie. I no, I know everyone would buy a fucking sex android. <laughs> like an. All of these androids that are not only nice to you, that also take care of your kids and clean your home, will also fuck you. And it's like, yeah, we would never have kids anymore. Like, the, the human race would be over at this point. <laughs> like, Yep. Uh, yeah, you know, we already have incels. The second you put sex robots out there, it would ruin the whole fucking thing. Um, but yeah, there's a guy that's like, well, these girls getting all fucking wet. My, 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 my wife, who's a gynecologist, says that the only reason they would get wet is if they had a fucking, like, uh, was it like, um, like a bacterial infection. And I was like, so... What? You just went on television and told everyone everywhere that you can't satisfy your wife. Oh my god. You dumb piece of shit. <laughs> like, I can't believe you. Yeah, uh, obviously he was like he was commenting on the the hyperbolicness of the fact that these people are singing about how they need a mop and bucket to clean up like after themselves because they so wet. Uh, but it's like, dude, <laughs> like, you don't come on, <laughs> Ben Chaparro. That was it. Yeah, if you think the Ben Chaparros of the world are bad now, you wait until sex robots become a mainstream thing. Those people are gonna lose their fucking minds. Yep. Car time. Car. Oh, and it says her name now on the, the thing. That house just straight up burned down. Holy shit. Yeah. But these people can afford robots. Don't forget. Yeah, these people can afford... But they can't afford to not live next to burned wreckage. Or they Jeez. can't afford shitty cars and burned wreckage. Yeah. But they can afford a robot. But robots, though. Well, that all depends. Because it's like, you can afford, you know, a car... And to live like shitty cars and living in shitty neighborhoods, but you can afford a smartphone, right? Like, it depends on how um, mainstream the technology is. Join Todd. Oh yeah, like everything's fenced off by my programming. Holy crap! Uh, I'm gonna walk on the sidewalk. I'm gonna use Coming? the path. Yeah, Jesus. And also, I can't imagine, sorry, just another brief aside about the sex robot thing. I know that people are going to be like, well, it's not <laughs> real if they're fucking programmed to come and stuff like that. Like, it's not a real orgasm. It's like, you are also programmed to enjoy sex, dumbass. Like, <laughs> the, also, the only you difference can program... is they don't need to do it to procreate, you stupid asshole. <laughs> like, yep. 
God. You could also program it in a way that means that you would have to, like a video game. Yeah, you could make it so it's like, right? yeah, not only does it, like, it enjoys it, but also, you know, like, I don't know how you would you would program fucking orgasms into a machine, but, like, you could. Gotta get that high I'm score. Sure. You're like, yeah, you gotta get that high score, man. You gotta get up there. <laughs> you gotta You gotta do well. Like, imagine, imagine a partner that is, like, always into the shit that you're into and, like, is just, like, in every way the perfect partner. We would go extinct! Like, that's, that's what would happen. <laughs> yeah, for three grand. Good lord. Yeah, in the store there, yeah, it showed that similar models were around $4,000, which isn't all that expensive for what it is. Uh, well, I think that 4000 is insanely cheap for a walking, talking fucking Android. People pay that kind of money for, like, gaming PCs and, like, smartphones that do extra shit. And, like, my gaming PC and smartphone doesn't also clean my house, take care of my kids, and fuck me. So, like... <laughs> like, like, I think that that's an incredibly cheap for the amount of money, that, like for the amount of things that this technology been gone does. For two weeks, so the place is a mess. You've been gone you for two weeks, okay? The washing, you cook the meals, and you take care of. God damn it! Where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice, Alice. Oh, there you are. That's <laughs> Alice. Fuck. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Okay. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Okay. And off the kick goes. I've been gone for two weeks, and this is the state of the place? Jesus Christ. Hubbachoo! Okay. Yep. Collect dishes. Activate vacuum cleaner. Check the backyard. Time for cleaning uh, simulator! Alright, sweet. Let's get to it. Rip. Take. Mm hmm. Okay. Got it. Oh, and the kids are over there. Uh, can I talk to the child? Interact with child. No? Okay. Hello, human child. Oh, God. I would love yeah. to have an android that sounded like that. Hello, human. I'm like, sweet, Maybe. dope. Depends on what you need. Mm-hmm. Uh, scanning. Dishwasher not working. Missing yeah, yeah. component. Order. Yeah, processing. Component ordered. I'll bring it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, same place. You know, you know Manual dishes activated. Cleaning dishes. TV on. Cleaning dishes. Oh, she's... Yep. Oh, that is so fucking weird that it would get the intuition to turn around because it feels like... It's get that like that feeling that you're being watched. That she yep. experienced that just then is so fucking... Alice, cool. go up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was like relationship oh, with Alice. Bring is me up. a cold beer. Yep. Bring Todd a beer. Deep. Yep. That's a lot of bottles of pills on So the... take a yeah, I was gonna say take a look at what's on that table. Uh collect trash in trash bin. Uh, there's a lot of bottles on that table. Yeah, there's a lot of bottles and yeah, a lot of pill bottles in cans of beer. That's not cool. Well, yeah. I'm gonna do a little turnaround. So my question <laughs> mm -hmm. again: How is he affording not only his house and car and a bunch of drugs and alcohol yeah. and child, but also an android? <laughs> yeah. Like, what do you do for a living? Because it doesn't look like he does anything. <laughs> no, it doesn't. It doesn't look like he does shit. Like, I get I get what they were trying to do with this whole, like, you know, shitty father situation going on here. But I feel like it was it could have been done better. <laughs> was it just me or was there, like, I was looking forward to how she was going to handle the fucking, like, thousand pizza boxes, like, that were on she that She put it in the box? There was, like, where did she put them? Like, where... <laughs> 
Like the garbage can. Like you don't even see. When she like like they skipped the scene where she grabbed them and was like and like crushed him into a diamond and then dropped it in the bottom of the trash can. Recycling. Or she well, like the so DeLorean you... where she just consumes recyclable <laughs> materials for fuel. Like, is that what's up? Well, so the android could have been purchased by the other parent, but he just went to go pay the repair bill. Like, yeah. he just repaired her. Yeah, he just had her fixed. She was under warranty, I guess. I don't know. But Maybe? still, the fact that he could afford her new at some point. Like. Jesus. Is that trash can a black fucking hole? Please tell me. Oh, yeah, like, see it right there. Yeah, there, there it is. And there's a bag in the bag. Like, wait. Where did the new bag come from? <laughs> Son of a bitch. There's two? When did that happen? I'm so confused. Bills. Overdrawn account notice. Yeah, good. You should be, like, fucking. Even the. I'm, I'm sorry. Even the bills that they're receiving in the mail are holographic electrical paper. Correct. Because, like, the pay now is, like, flashing. And he can put his thumb on that thing, I guess, and it will scan and pay his account and shit. Like. God, that's sophisticated. What? When, when is this game supposed to take place? Like, 21 something or one? More? Yeah, something. Like, 100 something years of that in the nature. future or some shit? Something of that nature. Also, can... all of his applications are rejected. He has yeah, no money. He's nothing. Application rejected. Yeah, overdrawn account notice. Invoice. Like, oh my god. Tad Williams. Piece of shit. She just climbs in the garbage can after all of it. Like, fuck this place. <laughs> I'm just gonna throw myself out. <laughs> Twenty thirty-eight, apparently. Oh, there's a there's a thing. Lock. Took out trash. Oh, that's urgent tasks. Optional tasks. Activate vacuum cleaner. Check backyard. Um, there is another urgent task which is presently still locked. Okay. Um. Oh, but I'm not. I'm not. Oh, this is going this takes way. place in 2038. Yeah, so 18 years from now. Yeah, no. No. <laughs> no. No. Mm mm. Mm 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 mm. No no no. Fuck man. <laughs> like I don't buy it. Took out trash. Report to Todd. We're not reporting to Todd until we've done more dishes and things. Oh, hey, Pandora subscribed. Thank you. Subscribe for 21 hey. months. Subhaib. Thank you so much. Subhaib. Um, what is, is... Oh, is it the magazine? Oh, she's just hiding. She gonna she gonna sit under the... God, that's... It's very unfortunate. Um, okay, so I can report to Todd now, but I'm not, like, even close to being done shit. Uh... I'm gonna continue. Yep, you can do more. I'm gonna yep. continue cleaning, uh, because I'm a I'm a good little robot. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know where that came from. I apologize. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where that came from. Shit. Uh, my apologies. I was gonna uh, say, is it that kind of channel? But it kind of is. Um, a little bit. <laughs> tiny bit. Tiny bit. Just a little bit. Um. All right. What's this? Take. Steal. I will take. Oh wait, I have to do the laundry. That's that's what. Okay. Steal. <laughs> like, <laughs> just stealing the laundry. Just like puts it all in the basket, throws the basket over the fence. Like, fuck this. Spooty, you get an OnlyFans. You do it. Yeah. You do it up. Thinking of getting an OnlyFans. Yep. Do it. Whatever makes your fucking heart happy. God, if I could do an OnlyFans and make money, like, <laughs> like, like, like you could though. Yeah. Well, oh no, I don't know about that. <laughs> I, I don't know about that one, Chief. <laughs> I don't know about that one, Chief. Um. Well, let's talk to her. Let's talk about the backyard. You like playing out here? Alice, neutral. Uh, Alice, go up. Uh, Alice, go up. <laughs> Are you at school today? Okay. Alice, go down. <laughs> well, she didn't go down. She just yeah, doesn't she give just, a fuck. She just walked away from rewash laundry. 
Yeah, the laundry was sitting out in the open air in Detroit. It's gonna need another go in the wash. <laughs> uh, so we're gonna need to put this. We're gonna put these right back in here. Uh, there we go. Take. Steal. <laughs> Destroy laundry. Dirt. Ah, oh, is he masturbating in the other room? Sounds like he's no, fucking... I think he's I think he's taking drugs. Oh, God I think damn it. that's I was uh oh speaking of the to speak of the devil. Ooh, yeah. Red ice. So this is red so ice. Oh god, lithium. Don't ever put lithium in your body. What? Oh, red ring. Shouldn't mess around with my stuff. Oh, and his Make pupils are super mess. dilated. I'm sorry, Don. You stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. I just washed the laundry, bro. You want to piss me off? No, Don. Also, considering, like... Oh, and I like how the yellow, like, reloads back in over the red. And then the blue reloads back in over the yellow. Oh. See, Kara's actually an Xbox, and if you shake her enough, she red rings. She'll red That's ring and she'll fucking kill you, dude. You've seen how fast these things can do this shit? I don't believe for half a second that this thing would not absolutely kick the fuck out of you. Like, if they if they went to fight you, I imagine these robots would beat you beat your ass bad. Uh, all right, so let's go to Todd. Where's the vacuum? I gotta go do some uh, vacuum shit. There's That's some the upstairs magazine. stuff too. I'm um, I'm worried if I stop to read the magazine, he's gonna get shitty. So I'm not gonna do that. Um, there's some upstairs stuff if you want to do some stuff upstairs. Clean downstairs. Okay. So oh, downstairs can't, first. Okay. Can't go, can't go upstairs yet. Where's the motherfucking vacuum cleaner? Uh, mm. is that? Oh, it's over there. It's over there. It's in the corner. It's in the corner. I gotta go into the corner and get it. Sorry, the stream is kind of blurry, so it's hard it's okay. to. <gasps> yeah. Uh, okay. So yeah, he is. Oh, and there's like red smoke coming out of him. Yeah, he's red. He's huffing red ice. Yeah, he's, it's he's the... smoking red ice. Okay. The secret Detroit become human drug. Uh-huh. Yeah, well. They have a special drug in every game. I'm glad that they do, because they don't want to be like, I did a bunch of research on heroin, and this is what, like, like no, it's, <laughs> like, oh, there we go. There's it's one in, I think, all of their games. Like, Indigo Prophecy has one, Heavy Rain, yeah. uh, this it's one. Like special drugs that do special yeah. things. Um, let's turn on the... All right. Beep. The Roomba. <laughs> the room. Oh, and it's like a little. Ow! Look at him go. It's a little Roomba. I don't like how it focuses specifically on him doing his drugs when it sends off the Roomba. Uh, oh, and the kid's playing with it. That's very cute. Optional tasks completed. Alice, oh. Stop that right now. Oh, it's talking to the kid. Right. Mine. I'm. I am friend Kara. You are Kara. I am friend Kara. Adjusting parameters. You are friend dog. <laughs> Um, Android power oh. in sports. Yep. Should it be outlawed? Football frenzy, the latest transfer and speculations. Yeah. In its third game of the season, Android pitcher X67. God, if I had an Android, they would have a cool name that's like just numbers and letters. I would honestly ask their opinion on it, though. And I'm like, do you want to be like fucking ig88 like would you like to be my friend ig88 <laughs> like, uh, but if they're like no nah, my name's carl i'd be like okay that's cool you, you can be carl it's fine <laughs> like, it's whatever it's not like I was my name really is carl <laughs> i would 100 percent also train my robot to kick the fuck out of people i don't i don't give a shit if it's like oh but what if it hurts you it's like no no -uh. like i would i would have that e102 code name gamma yeah like right like i love that shit Threw a pitch that broke the 120 mile per hour mark. Fuck. Jesus. Jesus. The human batsman wasn't able to swing until after the ball had already reached the pitcher's glove or the catcher's glove. The catcher also subsequently was sent to the hospital with a shattered hand. <laughs> Androids were introduced as a one per team innovation. One per team. Yeah. Uh, but they've come to dominate team strategy. Every draft sees the major professional baseball teams breaking their own transfer records to purchase these latest Android models. But is the game suffering? It's an interesting. It turns thought. into a MOBA, basically. Well, yeah, because then it's like, well, if you have, if you're limited one Android per team, then like, you're gonna do it. 
you know, like, shit's going to happen. Um, Jenny Waterfield, uh, head of fanzine Home Run, says fans are becoming uh, disenchanted. The magic of sports is seeing the limits of human potential. A machine breaking these kinds of records just isn't that exciting or even surprising. Uh, but not everybody agrees. Christopher Lennox, a baseball pundit and ex-pitcher, thinks androids are making games more exciting. These machines are shaking things up. They're pushing players to do even better. The game can only survive by evolving. I, personally, I respect both, uh, both sides of that. the argument. Because it's the same reason why we don't let people use certain performance-enhancing drugs in sports. is because we want to see the limits of human potential. We want to see how good right. people can be at doing stuff. Uh, that's what the Olympics is. It's, oh God, and I love that they're like, well, don't put, don't put fucking lightsaber fighting into the Olympics. That's silly. I'm like, all Olympics are silly. You're throwing a stupid disc or using a pole you, to launch yourself into the air. It's the dumbest fucking thing in the world. Have you seen curling? Yeah, like curling. God, curling. <laughs> have like, you seen curling? <laughs> like skiing. Like, this hill has a lot of snow on it, and I'm going to throw myself down it, but only when I'm wearing these two planks on my feet. <laughs> like, and then we decide what is and is not, like, allowed for these, like, it's so silly. Like, it's the stupidest thing. Uh, all sports are fucking dumb, but they're all in common have that one thing, which is how good can humans do this thing? Um, and I think that that's fantastic. I think it's wonderful. Uh, but also that, yeah, sports can kind of get a little bit boring and throwing some machines into the mix, I think, you know, shakes things up a little bit. I think that very much like ultimate basketball that like it should play differently. Um, but you can absolutely make content out of it. On combat techniques. Original Olympics were based on, on combat techniques. I mean, yeah, with like the javelin throw, but like long jump. Like, at its base level is, like, how far can you jump? That's, like, the dumbest thing I've heard. Like, like this is it's yep. stupid. But it's, like, that's what people do. Like, it's, like, yeah, just fucking... How far can these people jump? Like, who in, on, in the world can jump the farthest? Let's find out. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, that's fun. Like, yeah. Um... And I think that it would be interesting if they had, like, an android division for each of these things. Because I would fucking love to see, like these fucking androids like run and then jump super far like i'd be all over that shit man doc it's drew how are you fucking drew good to see you again god damn it you son of a bitch how have you been hey. <laughs> how are you doing buddy come on in we're playing detroit become human having like cool philosophical discussions about stuff also spoots congratulations on your old your on on creating your only fans just now um there is absolutely combat applications for jumping real long. Oh, of course. But, like, eh, it's just it's silly to me. A lot of, like, oh, but, you know, you run and, like, put the pole in the ground to launch yourself super high. Like, I know people used to do that shit in order to get over fortress walls and stuff. And I imagine so. But, like, all of those things are silly. Fencing is silly. And I know that it used to have combat applications. But where it is now is 100% not combat applications at this point. I, like I can't get over curling. I Yeah. <laughs> Like, we, yeah, Michael, like, where is that over combat let's applicable? Throw this, let's throw this rock down this ice patch and then broom the ice, brush the, sweep, sweep. That's the word I was looking for. Sweep the ice. Hurry, hurry hard. Like, that's the, that's broom the fucking noise. The broom the ice. Broom oh, <laughs> the ice. Cool. I had a moment. And we got an anonymous uh, person gifted uh, Drew to your one sub. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank yeah, you, clean that ice. Thank you, anonymous person. I tried to get into curling when I was in high school because I actually really enjoyed it. Because um, to me, it was very, like, you. there was so much subtlety to, like, how you strategize where you're putting your rocks and, like, how hard you pushed <laughs> it and, like, the spin you put on it and the sweeping in front of it and shit like that. Of curling, um, <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, there were so many variables. And I was like, ooh, this is a cool game that I could play because... I was very much like a late bloomer. Like I was, I was like four feet tall all through most of high school. Like I didn't start growing and stuff. Like I didn't hit puberty until I was like eighteen. Uh, so like, um, 
watching it, I was like, oh, this is a cool sport that I can get into. Like, it doesn't require me to be athletic of, of any particular, like, great big thing. Like, it wasn't like baseball or basketball or something. I didn't need to run super fast or, or do any of this stuff. Um, so I was like, yeah, this is, this is an interesting sport for me. But then my shoes, because we were poor, were, like, shitty and, like, slick with how worn the soles had become. So <laughs> when they put tape on one of your soles to be, like, your sliding shoe... And then they don't put tape on your other shoe. So that's your gripping shoe that you use to, like, push yourself along the ice. Um, I, like, Estebane, everyone's small to you. You shush. <laughs> like, um, I, I literally, they were like, okay, here's a broom, Doc. Like, get out there. And when I throw the rock, you have to brush in front of it, right? And I was like, okay. And then they would throw the rock. And I would sit there and run on place because I couldn't get anywhere and I would have just give oh, up no. and I had to like and I had to use like the butt end of the broom to push myself along the ice like a fucking gondolier in like Venice or something <laughs> like, <laughs> like that was <laughs> that was the shit I had to get up to and that's why I never and that and that's why I did not become a curler uh, <laughs> like, that's right doc is friend sized I am friend sized <laughs> you get out of here. That's true. Uh, all right, so connecting the dots. Um, politics in focus. Are American senators really corrupt? <laughs> uh, uh, mm. <laughs> are they? Mm -hmm. Yeah, is it? I'm connecting okay. You know, his uh, his 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 like his drug noises. His drug noises are making yeah. me very uncomfortable. <laughs> right, makes me uncomfortable. Hate it. Hate it so much. Uh, the transport innovation that's shaking up California. Uh, the new sub tube, we just call them subways, uh, completed its first journey today from Manhattan to downtown LA. Oh, so it's a it's a subterranean train system that connects cities, like the that because because like Manhattan, New York to Los Angeles. That's like that's coast to coast. That's In really under far. two hours. Yeah. Holy fuck! Less than half the five hour flight time how you're managing to get there faster than a plane boggles my fucking mind, but go on. The top speed of a 1,800 mile per hour was made wow. possible because the tube travels through a depressurized chamber providing a near frictionless environment for its magnetized motors. Uh, oh, so it's the whole pipe is depressurized. Allowing it to travel without having to push air out of the way. That's fucking clever. Uh, for commuters, this raises the, the uh, tantalizing prospect of finishing a long shift in the Big Apple and then putting your feet up in the Golden Coast. That's going to fuck you up, dude. Time is time is not going to be nice to you. Um, the transport innovation is shaking up California. California's uh, property markets are reacting to suburban prices have skyrocketed to 64%. The LA realtor Charlotte Lowe says she knows where the new buyers are coming from. They're East Coast types, specifically New Yorkers. Uh, they see a chance to keep that New York City salary while enjoying an LA lifestyle, and they're scrambling over each other to take advantage. Uh, real estate isn't the only thing shaking up. School places are rapidly uh, filling up and suburban realtors are racking up prices in anticipation for all those New York dollars flooding in. Uh, Longtime Californians are expected to be pushed out from the cities, which is why they've been protesting the new line. As one angry demonstrator put it, first Detroit takes our jobs, then New York takes our homes. What's When is it going to end? Oh, because of the droids. Right. Okay, can I go upstairs to clean now? Now that I've cleaned everything down here, do I need to... I think you have to report to Todd uh, first. Beep. Clean downstairs. Oh, yeah, I have to I have to tell him that I'm done cleaning. Yes, yes. you have to report have to, to re Todd. Report to... <laughs> I'm like, Todd, I'm done cleaning downstairs. He's going to be like... Bleh, bleh. <laughs> He's just on drugs. <laughs> Murf, murder, burg. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do, but stop bothering. Yeah, see, like, I didn't want to tell him that I was done. Out of the way, for fuck's oh. sake! I'm sorry, Todd. It won't happen again. Okay, yep. Uh, don't cross in front of the t TV. Copy Do that. it again. Uh, Do it again. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't want to. I, I don't want to <laughs> lose this character. Fucking car's gonna get fucking stoved in I don't again. Actually, I don't actually know what happens if you do that again. I don't even know if it'll let you, to be honest. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> like, no! Do it! I can't, no! I don't want to! Alright, so what's in here? Child room. Tidy. It's Todd's room, it says. Oh. 
read. Oh, it's another <laughs> it's another magazine. More all sports. More all sports. Uh huh. Uh, American football is largely. Oh my god. And yeah, the the Android quarterback is now doing really awesome, and everybody's really fucking weird about it. Okay. Tech addict. Uh, driveless when a driveless vehicles? vehicle foresees an accident, the car's computer makes life and death decisions. For example, deciding which of two pedestrians to hit. But the exact process by which cars make me these distinctions is not very well understood. Uh, Martin Forlong of Crown Cars tries to... Crown Cars? I thought it said Clown Cars. Uh, tries to <laughs> clarify, in these situations, the car's imaging system gathers data to determine the pedestrian's age, gender, life expectancy, etc. in the blink of an eye. The data is parsed through the public records to determine marital status, employment record, life expectancy, and whether or not they have children. The car then assigns a value to each possible victim based on the criteria, like their contribution to society. We put a premium on lives that will save other lives like doctors and nurses. Wow. Like, I get it on a cold yep. logic level, but Jesus. I also just There's think There's, um, like, a little flash game based off of this actually oh, um cool. and i forget what it's called um but it's basically it's if you, if you have to act as if you were a <laughs> self-driving car and make oh. the choices and they give you scenarios of like okay so you have like an old woman and you have a child like which one do you pick and most people would be like oh i'd pick to run over the old woman it sounds terrible um to run yeah. over the yeah. old woman because yeah. she would die sooner yep. right and then you're like, okay, well, you see, like, uh, a father and his daughter, and then a mother and his son and her son. Like, who, do uh, you hit? who do you run? Who do you hit? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, point, I, right? <laughs> the fact that it was like it accesses public records to put together information and then try to like create a profile for each person it might potentially murder in the next half a second. Uh, and all I can think of is like the the communications, like the wireless communication speed is super not there yet. So like yeah. as it's like careening out of control towards a couple of people and it needs to make a choice, it's like loading. Boom! And it just like hits them both. <laughs> Could you imagine like, the Wi-Fi connection like on that? The last second, it just lags out. And it's just like loading, and then just kills everyone. Like it never gets the information in time. Fuck. <laughs> oh God. Yep. Oh. Anyway, uh, what's on page two? Uh, all this may sound very reasonable, but uh, Felix Gamble, head of Anti-Automation League, the AAL, says that the system has no right to make such judgments. Somebody with a criminal record is not necessarily less valuable to society than a doctor. Yes, they are. Uh, that kind of information is irrelevant to the sanctity of human life. Uh, but Forlong dismisses such claims. Uh, we want our cars to make the best possible choices, and that means acting on the uh, basis of all the information they can gather. The more, the better. A another very like, interesting. Just... <laughs> uh, you know what? This is his room. I'm gonna clean this room maybe last, cause I found his drugs before and he got mad. So maybe we're gonna. Oops. Okay. Clean the bathroom. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> let's get. <laughs> oh, he left a floater. <laughs> I th they don't even show you. I like they don't, e they don't even show you. They're like, no, you don't need yeah, to see this. Like. You don't, you don't, you, you deserve better. <laughs> like, yeah, like you, as the viewer, deserve better than this. Uh, optional tasks, clean bathroom. Okay, so that was the, that was the restroom. There is another one. Oh, there is. Look at this. Okay. You should just specifically not clean his room. I mean, yeah. You could also set his room on fire. Like, oh, That's just true. I could. You know what? Fuck you. <laughs> I'm not going <laughs> to clean your room. I'm just going to fucking wreck all your shit. Cause like I don't I don't know what's gonna fucking set up like and this is what it's like to be in an abusive relationship like I don't know what's gonna set him off next I'm scared to literally yep. do anything I'm like if I clean the girls' room first is he gonna come in and get mad at me for like interacting with this child that he obviously hates or if I clean his room like is it gonna do I was just doing laundry when he attacked me before like fuck oh god and that's that's what being in an abusive relationship is like. It's yeah. true. It's such a good allegory for that. Because, like, I've been in abusive relationships. And it is a very good allegory for, for being, being with a person who is, like, physically abusive. 
It's Big like, same. You're you're so scared to do anything. Oh God. All right, so I did my. But it's just tasks. about robots. Yeah, but it's just—it's not about racism. No, it's, it's not, not about segregation. It's not about abuse. It's just it's about, about abuse. robots. It's just about robots. It's just, a, it's just a robot thing about robots. It's fine. Um, Zorp. Oh, she like wirelessly does shit. Fuck. Robots are and awesome. Now to sports. Uh, don't care. Don't care. Another two hundred twenty-five thousand jobs were lost from the U.S. Oh, economy fuck. in October, according to the Department of Labor, bringing the unemployment. Sports. President Warren spoke today at the opening of a new CyberLife plant near Milwaukee. At the event, oh. the president again praised CyberLife's role in the exceptional performance of the U.S. economy. Uh -huh. She further announced that the Department of Defense will acquire two... Actually, really quickly, um, I want to see if I can turn the volume up a little bit, because... Oh, no, default volume's at 100. Can't go any higher than this. All right, well, maybe it just hmm. seems quiet to me because it's the television. 200,000 combat, 200, combat units? Spending. Military? Yeah, military applications would be fucking... Oh, and then she just yes. auto shuts it off because that's that's all there is to see on, th on the telly. All right, let's... Uh, the window maybe won't get me in trouble. <laughs> Can't fucking... Ventilate. Guarantee, but... Ventilate room. Clean mess. Uh... What's that over there? Tidy. Whoop. Oh, dropped a thing. Pick up. What's up? What's up? Wow, they don't show you that. Isn't that weird? Yeah, what... It Isn't it weird that specifically don't show you that thing? Yeah, what? Oh, and then they tuck it back in so I can't even do this. I can't even like look over to see what it might be about. Oh, that's Isn't that obnoxious? Lame. That's an, that's an, that's incredibly obnoxious. Okay, I'm going to make the bed. Remember that for later for when I have my 45 minute TED talk. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Right? We... Oh, there's the kid. Okay. So maybe I can go clean the kids' room soon. This guy has so many ba bags of delicious-looking nachos everywhere. God, I could go for chips. I think you just—I was gonna say—I think you just want nachos. Oh God, I could go for some nachos, man. I'm some. I'm, I got like a yum yum yum, hankering. Tidy. <laughs> yum, 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 oh, yum. they're like the round dipping kinds. They're my favorite. Oh, the scoopies. The scoops. Okay, so yeah. so quick thing for people, just like a little a little a little nugget of information. Uh, yes, warden, you did hear nachos. My favorite like snack food of all time. Um, close second is uh, Cool Ranch Doritos. Those are my favorite flavor of nachos. Right. Favorite flavor. The scoops that you can get, the Tostitos scoops uh, that you can buy. Those. With the then Tostitos uh, mild because I'm a little bitch baby uh, mild uh, salsa as well as the cheese dip that you can get with them mixed together, and it's like and it's a one to one ratio like it's one cheese to one salsa and if you mix the two of them together and then pour it back into both those jars you get the fucking like salsa cheese uh, mixed with the scoops and then I just fucking eat that shit I eat that shit like. I eat, that, I eat that ass like groceries. Horton's <laughs> <laughs> nachos so are your favorite good. thing. Don't lie. Doc, you liar. <laughs> cool Ranch nachos. It's that called sounds pretty salsa good. con queso, you tart. <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Is that a thing? I didn't know yes. that was a thing. Oh, That's a thing. I had no idea. I was like, yo, I mix the salsa with the cheesy dip, and then it makes, like, this new cheesy salsa dip stuff that That's I literally love, like, called fucking salsa crazy. Con queso. Yeah, salsa con queso. Yeah, salsa con queso is my favorite shit ever. And yes, Warden, your nachos are also my favorite shit ever, ever. Though, I think the only or last time that I had your nachos, I was also tremendously high. So a lot of that is, like, <laughs> is grayed out to me. <laughs> like, I need to... Which just means you'll need to make more for me. Like, we'll need to do it again sometime soon. Um, I, I can guarantee you, though, that I will be crazy high the second time around. Uh, so, like, it's... it's don't, don't worry about it. But, God, yeah, seeing the nachos there, I'm just like... Oh. <laughs> like, it, it, it just gets me so fucking excited for nachos. 
Does he have records? And don't, and don't worry, I'm not giving him any spoilers. I'm just pointing out that I think that that's really stupid that they show you everything else in the entire room except for that one thing. Except for this thing. They don't show it's you the really thing. It's really dumb. It's oh, really wait, there stupid. is a... All right, let's, let's touch the drugs. Uh, antidepressants contains tiantamine. That's a gun. Okay. Okay. There sure is a gun. America. You've unlocked a dialogue or action. Often beneficial. Often beneficial. God, this reminds like this kind of shit reminds me of K four. Uh, the android character I played in uh the. Oh, and the D20 Live? The D20 Live game that we did. Yeah. yeah the, like, almost entirely Android character, uh, who's a person who was named Calvin, but then was named K4 after he was turned into a I robot. I just want to tidy up your room a little. I only need two minutes. Is that okay, Alice? <laughs> She's like, Greetings, child. I've come, come into your room to ti tidy things up now. Have no fee fear. <laughs> I'm just gonna look at this. Alice in Wonderland. Of course. Of Alice course. go up. Oh, Alice, because her name's Alice. Right, Alice in Wonderland. I'm staring at you. I'm staring <laughs> at you. <laughs> All right, so what do we got? Uh, window, ventilate, make bed. Oh yeah, I can it's tidy. all the things. And there's some shit there. All right, well, let's start with what's up there. No, nope, don't need to step over things. You can just you can just get right to it. Uh, oh, I can just look. I was like, oh, the books. That's cute. Seems you like reading. Mm-hmm. And what's this? Oh, it's just color on the walls. Kids. I'm surprised her dad isn't like ee! like freaking out about that <laughs> tweaking. Yeah. That's like a it's a it's a drawing of a girl climbing a ladder taking sunshine? There's two suns. I think <laughs> there's Oh, those are two separate drugs. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanna be like, you stupid kid, you this drew girl, two suns. This girl you does not ass. know her astronomy. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking dummy. You dumb dummy. You <laughs> dumb dummy. Box of treasures. These, These are now my treasures. treasures. Oh, they need a key. Okay. Understood. I'll just step over the book. Copy that. Uh, can I speak? Vent ventil ventilate first. Must ventilate. 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 The kid is Superman. Leave her alone. There's two suns on her planet. <laughs> You've unlocked a dialogue or action. Window is now open. Make bed. <laughs> lift, <laughs> lift, <laughs> lift. <laughs> like the ant group. Yep. Oh. Tidy Alice's room. Talk to Alice. Unlocked. Kneel. Kneel before Alice. Uh, friendly. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Oh, Maybe Alice up. Be friends again. <laughs> Alice up. <laughs> uh Your father said you chose my name. Don't ask her about her mom. Kara, it's nice. Alice How did up. you choose it? Uh-huh. Uh interests. You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do, where you like to go, your favorite foods. Alice up. That would Trusted. really help me. Thank you for your trust. Uh seems quiet. I'm not gonna ask her about her mom. Don't do that. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Okay. Uh. Alice, trusted. Path unlocked. Oh, she gave me a key. Oh, I can open the box. Now you can open the box. Infiltration underway. <laughs> Thanks for clubbing me over the head with that one. <laughs> Yep, gotta watch out for the book. Don't want to trip and fall over. Yeah, don't want to trip over that book. <laughs> Boston Dynamics. <laughs> Just like, 
<laughs> falls him, hits head on table on the way down. It's like, <laughs> oh. oh, this is like some nice pictures. Oh, and it plays. Oh no, that's hmm. Four leaf clover. Weak human ideals. Oh, that's nice. That. Okay. It's like, whose kid is that? Doesn't look like Alice at all. Uh. Oh. That's not good. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, she even drew him in his ugly tracksuit. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. And I think, yeah, okay, just in case we weren't already on that train. Uh, just in case we weren't aware that... Uh, yeah, that he was the one that damaged the shit out of her. Oh, uh-oh. Malfunction. Well, let's put all that away, shall we? Everything's been cleaned. Guess I'll just red ring. <laughs> Guess I'll just red ring. Yeah. Down you go. Down some stairs. Kara. Cyber life. What are you doing? Uh, I'm playing. You're playing. I know what you're thinking. I think your dad's a low life. Huh? Fucking loser. Can't get a job, take care of his family. Don't you think I tried to make things work? Try. Whatever I do, when someone comes along, they just fuck it all up. Past tense. I know what you think of me. You hate me. You hate me, don't you? Say it! You hate me! I guess he's talking about his mom. What am I doing? I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is heartbreaking. You know I love you, don't you? You know I love you. And that's what you call, uh, what's the word for it? Affection bombing. That's what that is. It's a form of abuse. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, that's that's abuse. <laughs> yeah, that is, uh, that's abuse. Achievement unlocked. Secrets. Oh, I got, like, a lot of things. All the things. I think you did all the things. Did I do all the things? I did them. I did. Look at all these things I you did. You did all the things. Oh. Uh, Kara discovers a way down. Oh, out of the room. And then the gun. Okay. Okay. This is so exciting. November 5th, 2038. Yeah, 2038. Holy shit. 9.58 a.m. Time for Marcus. It is time for ah, oh, but I miss Connor though. I want to go back to Connor. I know Connor's yeah. the boy. He's my son, my sweet boy, whom I must protect. People haven't gotten murdered yet. Connor, Connor. That's true. Yeah, people haven't been killed, and he shows sort of shows up when that's happening. So that is his job. Package. Uh, all right. So I can have a quick look around. Can't go upstairs. Upstairs not for Marcus. <laughs> can't, can't do it. There you go. Can't Bl do it. Can't do it. Not today. Stars. Not today. Not Stars. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not right. <laughs> oh, left button. Yeah, that's not. That's not uncomfortable and weird. It's like, look at yourself. Look at yourself in the mirror. Okay. Uh, ooh, what's this? Open. No birdie. Oh, they're little These android robotic birds. Robotic android birds. Turn on. That's really uncomfortable. Yep. Those are the only kind of birds I'd be comfortable keeping, honestly. You don't like birds? I like birds. I like... <sighs> Birds in cages give me very conflicted feelings. It's like people that have big dogs in small apartments. 
Like, I get it. That's fair. But, like, there's just a, like, a, as, as a personal preference, I just, I'm not comfortable with it. Um, one of my sort I mean, of, like, side dreams is to live in the country and then have birds who just live outside, who I then feed. Like in an, like in an aviary, basically. No, just, like, live in the or woods Or do you mean just, like, house. live free? Like, yeah, just live free, and then I feed them, and that's it. And they come back to me because I feed them, because that's how humans domesticate stuff. <laughs> Um, that's fair and it's I like, mean people th- who if you have a parrot and you yeah. are keeping it in its cage all the time and not letting it out then yeah. that's just cruelty to begin with like that's, that's not how that's you're not supposed cool. to keep a parrot yeah that's, that's not yeah. how you're supposed to keep a parrot but like, and I get it because like obviously I can't have a fucking macaw living in my Canadian wilderness uh, wherever it is I decide to get my home uh, but yeah bird feeders like, exist doc oh I know Kara that's, and, that's, and that's exactly what I'm talking about like if I want to see birds I'll get a bird feeder uh, or, or like introduce a lot of crows and or ravens to the property where I live, <laughs> and just have them slowly grow in population until I have a massive population of crows and or ravens that live with me. Amazing! I will have well, a bearded vulture, problem. and you can't stop me. I will feed it so many bones. <laughs> yes, boots. Do yeah. it. Do it. Like well, whatever that, makes you happy. That, that, the problem is that like places like PetSmart or whatever will give you the care packages that are just yeah. like you need a cage like about how big the birds in that cage are. Yeah. And that cage is not big enough for two budgies. It's not. No. But PetSmart is like, no, you're fine. And I'm like, no, it's not fine. It's so not fine. It's not That's fine. not okay. <laughs> That's a nice painting. This is a cool house. It's like an interesting mix of technology and like antiquity that I really respect. Hapachu. Uh, wake Carl upstairs. Oh man, I got to go wake up someone. You do. I'm gonna smack him in the face with my dear. I think he's a he's a famous actor. I think the guy who plays Carl as well. I don't remember his name, but Ooh, apparently I'm, he's. I'm excited to see who it is. Uh, the, the North Pole. Why Russia wants it? <laughs> Russia's interest in the North Pole has intensified with the recent discovery of precious minerals trapped in the frozen ice, many of which are used in synthesizing therium. Uh, Android manufacture increasingly dominates both the U.S. and Russian economies, but this isn't just about the GDP. Surplus Ethereum reserves would allow either nation would allow either nation to experiment in more advanced Android models, enhancing their military and industrial output tremendously. Add to this the strategic components or the strategic importance of the region, which connects Russia with Europe uh, through Norway and Denmark, Greenland, as well as Canada, and the prospect of peaceful res- uh, resolution on the dispute starts to seem unlikely. But a spokesperson for NATO is more optimistic. Both nations stand to benefit from a stable, productive Arctic region. A conflict would benefit nobody. President Warren, however, recently uh, torpedoed the nation. It's simple. Russia has no business in the Arctic. If the Kremlin doesn't understand that, then we will make them understand. Oh, jeez. America. Life found on Titan. Nice. That's very cool. Um, Evidence of alien life grows. That's a thing that we're doing this year as well. We're finding alien life, perhaps, in places. That's very exciting. Uh, The Darwin probe, which left exactly 19 years ago to probe the surface of Titan's methane uh, ice, has just confirmed the presence of microorganisms living hundreds of kilometers below the surface in an ocean of salt water protected by a thick layer of ice. Uh, After similar microbial matter was found in uh, Enceladus, Enceladus? Um, other... Another satellite on Saturn seems increasingly possible that that life is common in the universe. Just not, you know, intelligent life. Uh, a NASA spokesperson responded to the story as has stated the latest in a series of pointers to life on other planets. Our android expedition to IO is one among many such voyages that carry the prime objective of uncovering Enceladus. extraterrestrial life forms. Enceladus. Okay, Kara. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I don't know. Uh, yes, yes, yeah, they're looking for aliens, man. Deuce, not deuce, damn it, Eris. Um, our spacefaring androids are specifically designed to function in long range missions of this kind, and we're proud to have our models in the frontier of human exploration. I was gonna say, androids would be fucking great for going to space because they don't need to eat or drink or breathe. 
or breathe. <laughs> yeah, like they don't they don't need to do any of that shit. It's great. Spin. You heard it here first. Spin. Folks. Spin. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got? I'm a giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we got oh over here? God. Uh oh, I can try the piano. Yeah, okay. Let's try the piano. Beep. It's funny that they're like, oh, the c computers couldn't write beautiful music, and then they, they showed you exactly how that would be possible in American Gods, uh, the second yep. season of the show, when this one guy's just like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing, uh, I'm not going to be a composer, I'm going to be a, a tech person. And his dad, who was like super into music like that, was like, oh, whatever. The computer could never write a beautiful, you know, symphony. And then... He's like playing this beautiful symphony and he's just like, oh, that's amazing. Who wrote that? And he's like, that program right behind me that I made. Like, <laughs> um, oh, Jesus, Get right. <laughs> I don't think the, I don't think the raffle's on. Fuck. I forgot about that at the beginning of this. Um, oh, you didn't turn the raffle on? I, I forgot to turn on the giveaway. That is my bad. Uh, oh, doc. <laughs> whoopsie daisy. Uh, so now that's on. I mentioned at the beginning of the stream that we're doing Bit Trip Runner 1 and 2, the both the game and its sequel. Uh, but I I I forgot. I forgot uh, about stuff. Oh, there was another th Oh, that, that's that's the magazine. That's the magazine there. Okay. I got to I got to go upstairs and wait, Carl. Carl. Oh. Oh. Oh, I could not paint in a place like this. I mean, maybe, I don't know. Cause I it's mean, like, that's it, like the most incredible painting studio. Yeah, because it opens up all these curtains so you can see out these like wall to like floor to ceiling window walls, um, which appear to be made from extraordinarily thick glass, which makes me feel very nice. Uh, but like neighbors? <laughs> like It's like, yeah, you can look I outside mean, and see all this nature and that's so wonderful that I'm like, yeah, but then you're going to get fucking neighbors with their windows looking in on your shit all the damn time. You can just draw the curtains. Yeah. I just, like, I love being able to look out windows. I hate people watching me. Or, like, fucking, like, I hate nosy neighbors. That's that's a thing I can't stand. Oh, man, you would hate living where I live. <laughs> Probably. Everyone is nosy, the whole street. Like, just fucking busybodies, man. Like, yep, that's like everyone the one, knows everyone's business. That's the one downside for me for living in the country is that, like, somebody could just come onto your property and fucking sneak around in the dark outside your house and you'd never know like yeah i don't like that unless you have like alarm systems implemented like there's no way you would know about any of that shit and that was some shit i had to live with growing up in the middle of nowhere in the country like it was fucking yeah <laughs> yeah and be's right old italian uh, neighborhood crazy yep. grannies open everywhere it's <laughs> grannies snooping they're... all over the fucking place there's spumantes all over the place <laughs> spumantes I, I swear you spend 90% of this game cleaning. <laughs> it's a cleaning simulator. Is that not what this game's about? I mean, he yeah, said it wasn't cleaning. about racism or segregation or the Holocaust or sexism or, any, or abuse or anything like that. It's about cleaning. It's, it's about, about robots cleaning. that clean. Yeah, 100%. And then they clean up society and they clean up our hearts. Whoa, we and live that's in That's why it's not. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's not about those things. It's about cleaning. Um, I came into the wrong room and have been cleaning, and this is not my objective at all. <laughs> I feel silly. No, it is not. Oops. <laughs> I just came in here and fucked around for no reason. Shit. How the fuck do I get That's upstairs? That's okay. Damn it. It's not the giraffe. The stairs giraffe. were in the main entrance. It's not uh, the giraffe. <laughs> damn it. You're correct. Fuck. But you I wasn't allowed upstairs. upstairs. The, you the get, giraffe. The stairs. I'm a giraffe. He screams as he flies past you. Oh, now, I, now, now, stairs are for Marcus. Stairs are for Marcus now. You didn't put the paints down. Oh fuck! I'm seeing a lot of like assistance modules. I'm guessing Carl's an old guy, especially because I have to go wake him up, and it's a mansion, and it's the middle of the fucking. 
got that good old money. I like all these these animals running around, and this this one deer is like, I'm gonna lick you. <laughs> it gives me like weird human centipede energy. This like yeah this picture, like, I'm and I don't lick like you, it. And it's like get that lick on. I'm gonna lick them too. <laughs> like, <laughs> they all got their tongues out. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> Giraffe game. Oh yeah, what's this? Oh, it's like some bones. Bones. All right, cool. He's got dead ass bones, like in the mm. middle of his bunch of hallway. Bones just hanging out. Uh, is he? I mean, he's not that way. That way is just curtains and more giraffe. Um, so I guess he's this way. Coral. Oh yeah, dark room. I guess he's in here. Got to draw some curtains. Draw those curtains. Zoobity boop. So who's this guy? Uh, Famous guy, apparently. Good morning, Carl. Good morning. Apparently. It's 10 a.m. The weather is partly cloudy. 54 degrees. Wait. 80% humidity with a strong possibility of afternoon showers. It sounds like a good day to spend in bed. I did go to pick up the paint that you ordered. Oh, yes, I've forgotten. That is the difference between Ooh. you and me, right, Marcus? You know who he looks like? Who? He looks like the dude that played the fucking android and the alien. It might be that guy. Is Let that me Carl? see what he's been in. Let me is this, see. Is it is it the same fucking dude? Because if it is, that's that's nuts. It is. Oh, Spoots, yeah. It yeah, is, yeah. okay. Yeah, Lance Henriksen. Oh, Lance Henriksen. Give me one moment. I just need to take out my doggo yeah, go before take out she the doggo. ruins, you never forget ruins my entire hallway. <laughs> let's let's see what we got here. Uh oh, what's this? Oh, it's his medicine. Show me your arm, please, Carl. No, <laughs> Carl. Thank you. <laughs> no. I just opened my eyes and I'm already gritting my teeth. Oh, I got a right button. Humans are such a fragile machine. They break down so quickly. All this effort to keep them going. Hey, what happened to your clothes? Oh, it's nothing. Just some demonstrators in the street, Carl. What a bunch of idiots. They think they can stop progress by roughing up a few androids? I hope they didn't harm you. Oh, no, no. They just pushed me around, Carl. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> it's funny that I'll he played an, a nurse on TV and now he's a nurse oh. again here. That's cute. And yeah, his clothes are kind of ripped. I wasn't sure if that was like a, a a design choice that like the clothes were supposed to look like that kind of situation. But like, no, his, his clothes are kind of kind of fucked. Oh, and I just have to keep holding these buttons. Don't drop Carl. Okay. His his wheelchair was in the room. He was right it was right there. Oh, we're washing him. We're washing Carl. <laughs> yeah, the box of paint, however. Okay, and now we continue. Gotta scrub him in the morning. Yeah, Carl seems real nice. Yeah. Probably helping him poop. <laughs> get him on the toilet and just pow, right in the gut. That'll get him. All right, How take Carl to the dining the table. Today? Yes, there's the opening of your retrospective at the Museum uh, of Modern Art. The I just realized I don't know where his table is. Messages asking to confirm your attendance. Hmm. I haven't decided yet. We'll see about that later. Okay. What else? Just your usual fan mail. I've already answered. Hmm. Any news from Leo? No, Carl. I can call him if you like. No. No, I don't bother. Leo. Take Carl. Steal Carl. <laughs> Steal him. Uh, can we go in through? Nope. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going in here. I'm starving. 
Oh, there's a dining table over here. Okay, sweet. Bacon and eggs, just the way you like them. Thank you, Marcus. Oh. You're welcome. There you are, buddy. Like, I would be so grateful to a robot. Like, even if I'm not old, and like they, like I needed a robot to take care of me. Even though if I'm an old person, like I would be so grateful. I like to think I am grateful to the people that that try to help me out with stuff. Here we go. Let's. Oh, breakfast has already been made. Did I make it before I went out? Oh, that's cute. Mug with a little happy face drawn on it. Maybe something from his kids. Maybe that's who Leo is. Is Leo one of his kids? But yeah. I think that would be. Hello. Hello. Doggo taken. <laughs> Sweet. There we are. A Sweet Carl. Thank you, Marcus. Oh, the, and it's Television. still fresh. Like, I just walked into the, the kitchen and breakfast was, like, on the table. I'm like, did I make that before I went out and got paints? Like, what? But, like, the and coffee's still, still sizzling. hot and it's all still sizzling. Like, that's nuts. I am grateful to Eris, Boots. You shush. Why don't you find something to do while I finish my breakfast? Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carl. The thing I have found to do while you are eating your breakfast is to watch you eat breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to stand here, Carl, and watch you consume. Is that safe for you, Carl? It is not. Okay, bye. <laughs> There's just a few options. Don't walk in front of him. Uh... Because apparently that gets you yeah, that attacked. Gets, that gets you attacked, it seems. But see, that like, and that's wild. That that is like my reaction to that now is like walking in front of the TV gets you attacked. Don't don't do that. And like, I immediately had that reaction. I was like, I'm gonna walk over this way. No, I'm not walking. Like, and it was like a subconscious, like, it's a quick, like, don't do that thing. You'll get hurt. <laughs> like, yep. Television off. Mm. Man, kind of so depressing. Nothing but greed, stupidity, and violence. Five I like how he's got tattoos. Years of civilization yeah. just to get to where we are. Yeah. Uh, find something to do. I could play chess, or I could play uh, piano. I could look play at piano? the books. Uh, let's go, before I make a choice, let's go see what things there are to do. Oh, there are books. Okay, so I could read a book. I could play piano. I'm going to play the piano. I think that'll be nice. Sit down. Play some music. And play some music, music for Carl. Carl. Yeah. Yeah. I like Carl. Cons <laughs> yeah, fucking. Consume Primus Act. <laughs> um, intimate, enigmatic. I mean, I want to know what they mean by enigmatic, but I'll play helpful music. I'll cheer Carl up. He's feeling a little, a little grumpus. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. And then what? Uh huh. Let's little, keep going. A little bit faster there, Chief. <laughs> Count. Oh. Oh, and then it's, it's, I'm. Um... Look at that. Oh, and the, the, the digital music is like the musical sheet. So cool. Oh. This does keep going forever, but okay. I'm 
I'm pretty sure. I just want to see how fast I can Cause play. Because there, is... there is an exit button. No, it didn't go forever. It just... something. Oh, okay. Way. I thought it went forever. Yeah, I play like... <laughs> the fucking button as fast as I can and it's like I'm like 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 only an android could and he's like something's changed in the way you play like yeah I play this like I'm on speed and like, that's, what's, that's, that's what changed I play this like you I'm made of cocaine <laughs> I think you get the same response whether you like quote unquote finish it or not but I I, I would assume it would eventually end I would hope yeah, can you well, imagine it, it if did. your android just played music for you forever yeah, like, um, and, and learning piano is something I've always wanted to do. Like, I learned a little bit when I was a kid, and it's one of those things I always wanted to get back into doing, because it's just so peaceful uh, as an instrument. It is. Mm. Oh, God. Violin also. Man, it's, oh, man. It's just so funny that he just blasts through the end of that song like it's caffeine coursing through his veins and nothing else. <laughs> and they're just like, something's changed in the way you play. Like, do I normally play this fast? Like, what are you talking about? Uh, yeah, like violin is such a is such like a, a mournful and emotional instrument, but I don't have like the I don't think I, I don't think I possess the, the dexterity for it honestly whereas uh for me it like playing the piano is just pushing buttons is is how i see it i used to play the trumpet as well so like the nuance of uh, is certainly not beyond my skill i imagine but uh between the two i've always just been like no i want to I learn how to play piano i think that'd be nice maybe it'll be a little hobby i pick up someday that's a sick instrument the hurdy-gurdy oh the fucking hurdy-gurdy that's a sick instrument. Oh God! It, you know, you know what's funny? Because the hurdy gurdy is a, a combination of a piano and a violin. <laughs> like it's, it is. It's the. It it's, is. It's somebody took two instruments. Like you want to play the piano or the violin? Someone was like, "Fuck yeah!" And then they made both of them one thing. Uh, God, no, yeah, playing the hurdy gurdy would be fucking amazing. Uh, just because, like, you could also take it places. Like it's a portable instrument, unlike pianos. Yeah. Um, one of the benefits, at least to me, in learning to play in a uh, piano is I can get an electric one, which can then be folded up and put away whenever I'm not, like, practicing on it or playing. I can Instead just... of, like, a full upright. Yeah. And in addition to that, I can wear headphones. Like, I can plug headphones into it and then play without disturbing my neighbors. Uh, whereas a hurdy-gurdy, I don't think I would have that option. <laughs> per se. Electric hurdy-gurdy. An electric hurdy-gurdy. <laughs> plug an amp into it. Yeah. Honk. <laughs> like, <laughs> as that thing just fucking cranks off. Oh man. Okay. All right. All right. Sometimes I think you have more humanity than most humans. One day I won't be here to take care of you anymore. You'll have to protect yourself and make your choices. Decide who you are. It's an interesting thing to say. Become. This world doesn't like those who are different, Marcus. Don't let anyone tell you who you should be. You're an android and black. That's got to suck. Yep. Let's go to the studio. Uh, but it's interesting that he's just like, yeah, when I'm dead, this is not property. This is a person to me. I won't. Like, you will yep, have to. Be here to protect you anymore. Yeah, like, I can't basically tell everyone that you're my property and that's what they will respect you for. They will have to respect you for being a person. The like the, you you will have to find a way to survive without me, um, and I think that that's fascinating in its regard. Like a son, right? Yeah, like he's he's absolutely treating him like a son. I think that's so cool. That's really touching. So it's so cute. Want to go in little circles, Carl? You want to go in little we circles? Don't <laughs> wanna... <laughs> Carl, do you like this? We we Tokyo Drift. <laughs> Tokyo Drift, Carl. Remember that? <laughs> remember that? <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, I gotta put him in his little chair. Oh, cool. Does, his, does it just hook chair. up to his... Does it hook up to his... Uh, his thing, or does he sit on it? Oh, it hooks up to his wheelchair? 
Isn't that dope? Oh, that's fucking cool as hell. That is so cool. Oh, I'm this is jealous. wild. Let's see where we left off. Remove the sheet. Remove the sheet. Remove. Remove. Remove sheet. Oh, it's beautiful. Meet, meet, meet. Studio cleaned. Yep, wait for new instructions. Just gonna scan the entirety of this environment in the blink of an eye and then go back to watching you paint. Oh, that's beautiful. Also, in what universe can I just make this much money? Yeah. Yeah. Before they're dead. <laughs> yep. Yep. This guy's like one in a fucking million. Yep. Making this. I mean, unless money. this is just his hobby. Maybe he was like a rich real estate agent or something. I would say, judging by the tattoos on his arms, it's a higher probability that he is, in fact, a successful painter. I mean, by that's the... what I was thinking yeah. as well, but by I'm the... just trying to think of a more realistic. <laughs> yeah. Judging by the tattoos on his arms, his relationship with his family, and so, his views on the world. What's your verdict, Marcus? Um, I'm going to say I don't like it. No, I like it. I... Yes, there is something about it. Hmm. Hmm. Something I can't quite define. I guess I like it. The truth is I have nothing left to say anymore. Each day that goes by brings me closer to the end. I'm just an old man clinging to his brushes. Carl. But enough about me. Let's see if you have any talent. Give it a try. Try oh. painting something. Paint? But would I... Painting what? Anything you want. Give it a try. <sighs> I think this is so cool. But it's like, yeah, just try try painting something. That's not how you old an easel. There's it's a hole not. in it for a it's... reason. Okay. Um, look around using the right stick. Oh, uh, paint. Statue. Paint. Desk. Paint. Painting. <laughs> paint Carl's painting. Um... I'll, you know what? I'll, I'll I'll paint the statue. We'll do that. Interesting. I, like it just—it reminds me of um, that one scene from *I Robot* with Will Smith when he's just yes. like, trying to explain something, and he takes a pen in both hands and just starts going like. And like one of his arms is going up and down, and the other arm is going side to side, and it like basically prints out a picture. And I think that that's so fucking rad. And that it's like, yeah, that's how it is. that's how a machine would do art. Like this is at least those particular androids in that system, like in that world, like that's how they would do that stuff. Because like, why would they like? I mean, obviously he's using the the things that are in front of him, but it's not. He's he didn't like draw the shapes with the pen. He like basically went like alphanumeric and, and printed a picture and i was like that's yeah that's so cool oh man uh apparently you're coming in a bit oh, there he is. for some people he's holding it he's holding it correctly the reality, all right the painting is not about replicating the world it's about interpreting improving on it showing something you see yeah carl i don't I don't think I can do that. It's not in my program. I... Go on, go, try it. Grab that canvas. Yeah, he's like, I want you to paint something new. Like, he painted a perfect picture of what he saw that statue. Yeah, see? Do something for me. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. This is so Trust interesting. Me. Marcus. Marcus, what is want? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it 
basically, um, so what I'm going to do really quickly for you guys at home here, I'm going to actually turn my mic down and I'm going to turn the audio capture up for the stream. Um, then that way, hopefully, uh, 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 uh. I'm still peeking. Uh. That's not good. Uh, <laughs> mm. Mm. Let's let's go like apparently go, it apparently like it's 75. better. Um, yeah, let's go down like seventy five. Let's let's reduce this by just a touch, so that when I'm when I'm talking and I'm and I'm yelling at hey, Jaden Joseph has followed us. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Um, yeah, some people some people weren't having a, as big an issue, and yeah, now it was like super loud there for half a second. Uh, it's coming in a little bit quieter for myself, uh, but I can still I can still hear myself. That's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna you know I'm gonna go down to seventy. I'm gonna go down to seventy, and uh, yeah, it's still that still goes uh, up. Is it better? <laughs> but yeah, it's loud, but it's better. I'm hoping that that's good. I'm I'm hoping that that's enough because what I want is for the the game's audio to also come in more because I've turned the 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 whole audio experience up, but then I've reduced my personal microphone uh down so that you know other people should be able to hear me better i imagine i'm a bit quieter for you as well uh um, no not at all no okay good. Well, there we go no um no. oh i don't think the system is using voice mod i think it's just using my mic uh that might be it we will see um yeah irobot touched on the the same themes uh as asimov's work but it wasn't a replication of one of his stories no yeah it's, yeah I, I don't care what people say. I really like the iRobot movie with uh, Will Smith. I thought that was a good movie. Me too. I liked right. it too. Close my eyes. Try to imagine something that doesn't exist, something you've never seen. Now concentrate on how it makes you oh. feel. His and let down. your hand drift across the canvas. How it makes you feel. And now he's holding the easel correctly. I like that. Um, androids, Palette. humanity, identity. I'm going to paint about androids. Hope. Oh, and he's, and he's literally got his eyes closed the whole time. Oh, God. The music for this game is gorgeous. It is really well done. So fucking beautiful. <laughs> what is imagination? What is feel? Help. <laughs> Help. Oh, his name is a blue ring again. Oh. Oh my god. Hey, Dad. Leo. Ah, it is his kid. I didn't hear you come in. No, I was in the neighborhood. I thought I'd stop by. It's been a while, right? You all right? You don't look so good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> hey, listen, uh, I need some cash, Dad. Again? What happened to the money I just gave you? Uh, well... It just goes, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're on it again, aren't you? No. No, no, I swear it's not that. No, don't lie to me, Leo. What difference does it make? I just need some cash. That's all. Sorry. The answer is no. What? Why? You know why. Yeah. Yeah, I think I do know why. <laughs> you'd, rather, you'd rather take care of your uh, plastic toy here than your own son, right? Yeah, well. Tell me, Dad, what's what's it got that I don't? Uh, it's smarter, dignity. more <laughs> obedient, not like me, right? It's not you a know piece what? of this shit. This thing yeah. is not your son. It's a fucking machine. Leo, that's uh -oh. enough. Enough. You don't care about anything except yourself and your goddamn paintings. You've never loved anyone. You never loved me, Dad. You never loved me. Jesus. Uh, 
That's rough. Oh, and then, ooh, depending on what I was painting would lead to some stuff, apparently. Leads to different options. Well, yeah, like, it still it still goes to the end. Leo intruded to ask yeah. for money. Um, but, like, you would still get, like, Android's humanity or identity, and then you would, and then you would pick, and it would show you. I think that's very cool. Which means, then, there was 12 iterations of what would be painted, depending... I mean, if that, that is to say, if there is a different one for each, and there were four options for I each. Think, I think they're all versions of the hand in some way and just yeah. different I believe still that's rad as fuck if it's like if each it of them is. has four options and each of each option is is at least in some way different that's 12 iterations and like on such a small detail that's that's f fascinating oh i oh because i played the piano if i played chess or read a book he, i imagine he could have said some other things would have said something different yeah yeah he could have been like Oh, you beat me in chess again, you fuck. <laughs> you fucking dink, god damn it. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, it was a face for you, Spoots. Okay, so they are different. Maybe all the Android ones are a hand, because mine was a hand as well. But yeah. I also chose Android. <laughs> like, it was just like, what's this guy got that I don't? Well, I don't have a drug problem. That's like fucking... What do you want me to say, pal? So, a lot of things, buddy. A lot of things. Sobriety. <laughs> like just the start. How's about that? Uh, only a couple of them are hands, says Estevane. Interesting. Some are portraits and some, have, cool. uh, some are bodies. Ooh. Cool. Cool. Uh, Two the of the good ones are hands. What? Of all the people that played through this, that got to these scenes, two or three percent did what I did. Most people played it, picked identity. Most people picked identity. Yeah, fifty-eight percent picked identity. That is so fascinating. They are short a percent, though. Yeah, still. Because it's probably like point whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was gonna say like they're they're shorter, they're shy a percentage, but there's probably like points on each of those three percentages that are leaving the one out. Um, doy. <laughs> oh man, so cool. Activate birds. A lot of people do that apparently. I like how none of these are like hundred percent. Like, 100% of people that came through here fucking activated those birds. Like, no, it's only 73. 73 and change. Yep. That's radical. That's rad as fuck! World stats in percent. Friend stats in percent. Really? Uh Oh, locked paths, cross character, impact. Oh, neat. Neat. Neato burrito. Cross chapter impact, so it'll be relevant in other chapters. Ah, oh, the fucking gun and the window were mm -hmm. yellow like this. Mm -hmm. Cross chapter impact. They gun were. And window. Oh fuck. Ah fuck. Anyway, um, so with that, ladies and gentlemen, um, can I just can I leave or do I need to? Do I have to continue? November I mean, if 5th. you, I believe this is a checkpoint. Yeah, so I think it, I think it checks there because I couldn't, I couldn't hit back. Uh, so I'm gonna pause here. Uh, yeah. Um, main menu, please. Um, any unsaved progress will be lost. Okay. I will confirm. Good to see Android Lady again. Oh. Oh, hey. Yeah. She looks a little distracted. Like, she's looking anywhere but you. You okay, friend? She looks a little like Scarlett Johansson. She does. And she's, like, almost saying something, but then she doesn't. And she's looking around the room, like, lost in thought. She is very distracted. Oh, hello. Uh, he, <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> She looks like right there at me. Some... I was like, ah! 
Yeah. There are some interesting interactions with the main menu that you can do. Really? At certain points in the game. It's very cool. Yeah, like she she does like change as the game progresses in really cool ways. That is fascinating. Alright, so let's return to can I can I select that oh no, it's if I Yeah, yeah, return to return. I hope you're okay today. Do, hello. I know sometimes things can be difficult, but I'm here for you. Oh, thank you. Thanks. <laughs> I really do need that sometimes. Can I? There we go. Return to desktop. Thank you. Are you sure you want to return to desktop? Yes. That is a nice thing to hear in in these trying times. Right. Uh, that it's like someone's like, I know things are difficult, but it's going to be okay. I'm like, oh, thanks. That makes me feel better. Thank you. Thank you <laughs> Thank for you. saying that. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting a, a bit trip. A bit trip runner. Uh, let's see who's in on this Rangiful. I'm going to give you guys another three minutes till 10.25. In the meantime, I think I might order myself some food. Do it uh, up. Now, the question is, I don't want to have more pizza. I feel like pizza is not the best option for me to be eating if I want to have a food. Um, but my other option is shawarma. I don't know if that's a good idea. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I mean, both are good options. Both are good options, right? Hmm. If I turn... Ooh, that's loud. It's very oh. loud. Yeah. Is it loud for you? Yeah, I mean, it's not loud. It's just noticeable. Suddenly? Like, yeah, that's the 30% difference right there. Uh, but if I put it's this back sudden. down... What about now? Is it a bit quieter now? That's better. Yeah, so that's the system output. I put down 30%, so let's, let's play with these a little... Let's go down to let's go down to eighty, and I'll and I'll leave it in and around there so that I'm still, you guys can still hear me well enough. I can still hear myself, but I'm not peaking as much, uh. Because I I, I want to have the ability for you to hear like because because the way I've been doing it before was I was turning down the volume for the desktop audio thing in uh in Streamlabs and that was that was affecting, um, that was affecting how like you could hear games and things like that and I want to turn that up, uh. So yeah. Next time you play this game again, you may be asked to take a survey full of moral questions. Have fun with that. Oh fuck. Oh <laughs> yeah, the, she does that heads sometimes. Up, here. Yeah. I'll have to fucking Robo Girl's gonna ask me a bunch of questions. So so in in the meantime, while we wait, what do you think? I'm what are you thinking? so fucking about this. I'm I'm loving this so I far. I thought you would like it. I might come back to this again. You were oh no, I mean might nothing. I'm definitely coming back to this again next Sunday. We're gonna get back on it. Please, More Detroit. please do. Um and yeah, if you want to join me again, I would love to have you. Cause... Absolutely. <laughs> fuck, fuck I find this game is it. I find this game is much more fun when you have people to uh bounce ideas off of because like it's a lot with. more yeah, yeah, it's it's very like interesting and like morally, like very morally ambiguous, right? Yeah, like it so, is. It, it does not always give you the obvious choices of like kill a person or don't kill a yeah. person. Yeah, like, it is all over the map. It is all over the map with that. It was just like, do you oh, just, just want to use like? Do you just want to use this gun to intimidate the android on the roof and like risk the potential that he might shoot the kid or jump? Or do you just want to shoot him? Yep. And that's why I was like, I made that calculation in my head. I was like, shoot him. Like, just, like, now. Because th there is there is a higher probability that the child lives if you just shoot him. Um, than if I attempted to... Like, there is a probability that the child could have lived and I could have talked the android down, especially using the gun to threaten him in that situation. Or it could yep. have pushed him over the top and he could have either shot the child or jumped or worse. So... It's true. I was I was just like, like that is the highest chance for, for probable success. So I was like, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab it. Uh, I'm going to take it and run. 
Fuck. See, for mine, I did I did a full pacifist route. I did like as pacifist as I could possibly be. That was the decisions that I made, um, and it ended very. <laughs> so I'm interested to see with your because I, I really enjoy when well. you have your your panic reactions of like oh my god what do I do I'm like oh oh fuck <laughs> you're like oh fuck what do I do I'm like shit damn it yeah no this, this is so cool I'm really enjoying this yeah. the fucking guy that made this though is like an, a like a class shit. A fucking <laughs> knob class A he's fucking just, knob this guy he's, he's like what an idiot. He, the pro the problem is he thinks he's like he he tries to do like Kojima levels of nuance, but oh, he's like, just not good at it. He thinks <laughs> so. he's a genius, but he's actually an idiot. And it's just one of yeah. those situations where it's like you think you're really smart, but you just keep doing really smart things. And the fact that but you're that's... doing these really smart things, not at all related to the fact that you are you are intelligent. Like it's uh, like, the concepts of every game, the concept of Indigo Prophecy, of you being this, like, um, killer that's been, that, that is being, like, supernaturally controlled, and you have yeah. to try and figure out what is controlling you and cover up the murder, mm -hmm. and fucking Heavy Rain, where there's this murder mystery with the origami killer, yeah. and Beyond Two Souls, where it's, like, this girl who's what Ellen Page, who has this, like, soul spirit following her that mm -hmm. does shit for her, like, yeah. very cool concepts super cool but somehow you, they always they always fall apart somewhere and yeah <laughs> i just somewhere just uh, and somewhere i feel in the like thing it just it goes to shit just, uh but yeah uh, and, and it doesn't this is his best game i will say oh, this is easily. definitely his best and i and i um, and that's the thing is that like again as, as i said when we started playing this like the fact that all of the the characters that you're playing are androids so far um, your janky movement or like starting to do something and then stopping and then like not quite or like walking in a little circle or bumping into a wall or something like that like it's it, it doesn't break sense. immersion it makes sense because you're a fucking robot yeah. so like sometimes you don't interact with your environment so great like uh, and you're not just like ah oh, god damn it I fucking bumped into this wall stupid guy like you stupid man and your stupid bullshit like no it, 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 it all fits uh, and when they do that, like, Mind Palace thing where everything, like, freezes and they, like, scan around at all the shit in the environment, and it's, like, th like it, it's all in-universe. It makes sense for the characters to behave this way. And so it translates to a video game media so, like, so much more smoothly than, than any of the other human characters from any of the other narratives that they're telling so far. Uh... Like, that's so rad. You can stop time and scan things and reconstruct stuff. And, it, like, it, it gives you information as the player in a way that's both entertaining and fulfilling, but also makes sense for the character to be doing that. Like, you don't have to be yep. fucking Sherlock Holmes to be, like, reconstructing scene. Like, no, you're a robot. Of course you can do this. Like, come on. So I cool. I definitely think David Cage should exclusively make murder mysteries i think david cage should exclusively make android murder mysteries and i think that he should exclusively yes. make them with connor <laughs> i agree this is a whole series of just connor and hank the whole series of you haven't met hank yet he's awesome that's his partner he's i think so that would cool. be such a cool cosplay as well like if you got like somehow like you, you can do el paneling now like electroluminescent uh not yep. cloth, but, like, paneling that you can put underneath so you could make, like, the armbands and the little triangle thing on the back that lights up. And oh, like, people have done it. The, really? Oh, yeah, people oh, have done rad. it. There's How do they do the diode thing on the side of the head? They do, like, I think they put, like, e-wire in, like, a little piece of silicone and, like, spirit gum it to their oh. head. Oh. Um, oh, that's so That's what cool. I've seen done. That would be um, rad. No, because, like, I would do that cosplay. I'd be down for that. 110%. Yeah. Weirdly Cause... enough, TikTok is really full of Detroit Become Human cosplayers. Really? Yeah. Like, it's a huge thing on TikTok for some reason. Well, I don't a, I don't know why. That's weird because TikTok's like a newer media and this game came, like, yeah. like Detroit came out like a, a couple years ago. Like, so. Re pretty old. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, I would do that. But and what's, what's great about it is you could literally be anyone. Uh, and if you like put on the like the the android outfit that Connor had or that uh, that Kara had, um, and you have like the little LED thing on the side of your head that like lights up, then it doesn't matter. 
Yeah. It doesn't matter who you are. You could be anybody. Like, and you just dress up like that and you're an android now because they made androids to look like anyone. So it's, it's like perfect in-universe cosplay. I fucking love that. I dig that idea. It's dope. So fucking dope. God damn. So yes, uh, just as a quick thing, uh, once more, the game that everybody's getting in on is Bit Trip Runner uh, is a runner game. So it is like of, of the standard classic, like, you know, sort of left to right kind of runner games. The Bit Trip Runner 1 is very 8-bit. It's very fun. But then when they did the second game, as you can see, there's a big whoosh. And then all of a sudden, everything was in 3D. But it's still a 2D platformer. Like you run and you collect gold. You go through cool little things. Uh, you do stuff with like your your sticks on the controllers and stuff like that. You can play it with Bit keyboard, I'm sure. Runner two, future legend of Rhythm Alien. And yeah, you just like run run through little little obstacle courses and and do stuff. You know, this is a fun little game. Uh, and that's why I'm doing both the the first and the second game and our Rangiful today. I think this would be a good time for people. And you get little rainbows that shoot off on you, so you know. And you can play as different characters. You're, you're like, very cute game. Yeah, I think it's I think it's a very cute game. I think this is this is a lot of fun, and I think people will enjoy it. It's nothing super system intensive. It's not uh, it's not really like complex. Ambie's got a ticket. Ambie's got a ticket for the Ragafall. I'm dancing, but you can't see it. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> yay, thank you. Mm. <laughs> um, all right, Emmy's got one. Death Watch has got one. And, yeah, it's past our marks. So let's close those entries, everybody. Uh, in a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All right. Bam. 1v1 showdown. It's Death Watch versus Zimby Swords Rex. And ladies and gentlemen, our winner of tonight's ragaful is... Enbisaurus Rex! <laughs> Congratulations, Emmy. You won yourself a copy of Bit Trip Runner and Bit Trip Runner 2. Hell Ooh. yeah! I'm gonna put that on my notepad. Which is closed. Because my computer keeps resetting itself. Sick shit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> or, or as Steve would most certainly say if he was here, yo, <laughs> yo! <laughs> with the fish. Yeah. Oh god. Um, yo. With the fish. Ah, oh, that's my favorite <laughs> shit. Yep. <laughs> Uh, I also did that on Facebook, hoping he would find it, and then he did. It made me so happy. And then he did. <laughs> I saw that, and I, I put started that laughing. fucking thing with like the yo fish, and I was like, "Oh, I'm just gonna put this as like a comment under under one of my own posts." And then he got in on it. I was like, "Yes, he found it. Oh, sweet. <laughs> that makes me so happy." Oh. Since Steve can't be here, I have to bring Steve here. Yeah, <laughs> through that's, through voice. <laughs> that's what we gotta do, man. <laughs> Because he can't be here. <laughs> Whoops. No, it, it accidentally... It, that, there, it's complete. There we go. Yay. I accidentally, I, instead of hitting complete, I made it pick another winner, of which there are only two people that entered. So it's like, I guess also Death Watch is a winner. You know what, Death Watch? You are a winner. You win. At Watching death. Life. And keeping lore. There you go. <laughs> you win at life. All right. So thank you everybody for coming out to our stream. Um, this has been a huge amount of fun. I'm so I'm so fucking excited to play more of this, and I almost don't want to wait until next uh, Sunday to do it. But like, I'm also up to my fucking eyes in playing VR Skyrim and I, I gotta tell you like I'm still geeking out about it I'm still Are geeking you out fun? Man. oh I'm having the time of I my life I told you life. it was good oh my god I told you well, cause, like, with, so the, <laughs> with the mods and everything in it like it definitely enhances the experience because it makes it so that I have like a body when I'm walking around uh, there's yeah like the graphics are improved and there's there's instead of like 
a texture of a rope being around a post. Like they improved the polygon so that there's like actual rope around that around that post kind of thing, right? So it doesn't break immersion as often for me, which is very nice. And I enjoy that. Uh, but it's like I'm not just walking through an environment and being like, okay, there's a post and there's a tree and there's like a person. It's like, no, like I can... I can ex- I'm experiencing the depth, the distance between me and the object. And like that alone already is blowing the shit out of my mind. Uh like every Have time you tried I put archery on that headset. Yet? Um I haven't. I know that a lot of people that do VR Skyrim go like archery builds, not just because archery builds are can get broke as fuck as you're playing through the game, but also because you have to like actually like shoot the arrows. You gotta try um, it. I did try it when I was calibrating it at the beginning. You have to go through like a little obstacle course that the game's like you have to yeah. do shit to sort of calibrate the system for yourself, which is so so cool. But um But also just like using the the magic system and everything else like i mean yeah there was a mod that put in gestures so that i can use the gestures to like cast magic and shit and that's very exciting but like being being able to to like actually cast the spells like with my fucking hands and stuff like i got to tell you man it blows my mind like it's there's when just I nothing got, like it like oh when i got vr skyrim for the first time i spent like six hours in vr with like no breaks i was so immersed i was literally sitting I... on my floor like wow <laughs> wow i couldn't oh. every time i Your went in, was like are you okay i could only be in for like an hour two hours maybe at a time before i'd start getting nauseous uh and that's what i are found you doing the when... teleportation or the direct movement i'm going direct movement uh that's why. Yeah. But now... The teleportation is more jarring, but it's less dizzying. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I'm not fucking moving all over the place. It's... Oh, good yeah. lord. Does, I can't even imagine. But, like, playing it... Whenever I need to, like, jump off an object... I don't just, like, do the thing with my arms to, to make it seem, like, you know, more immersive for everybody at home. And more fun and immersive for myself. But it's also for, like my stomach <laughs> so that like it's it's a little motion that i do to be like you're jumping off of this thing now like this is the what you do yeah. when you jump so that because like i gotta tell you when i was starting blade and sorcery it's like i would walk and my character would go off like a one foot ledge and go whoop thud onto like the ground below it it's like maybe like six inches drop from that ledge and my stomach stomach would drop and i would just be like oh yep. god and like turning with the stick a nightmare a nightmare on like like you wouldn't imagine yep. but like now that i've been playing it though like i can do the three hours no problem like three hours i'm in you get used it's, to it it's no issue you get used to the uh, vr sickness yeah like and it's exactly like your seat getting your sea legs like it's getting your vr legs you just have to go in and <laughs> be there for a little while and then when it starts making you sick like get out reacclimate, and then go in again and you just keep doing it until it stops bothering you because eventually it will you just get used to being in there eventually your brain just learns that when you have the thing on and you're looking at shit through the thing that like it shuts off a whole bunch of things in your brain <laughs> uh yeah sometimes when you're in vr and i'm watching uh those heights make me sick and i'm not even in vr yeah like Gah. And then, like when I went to the fucking map for the first time in Skyrim and it was like you can perceive the fact that you are in the clouds right now like it renders that depth for you and I was and I like I hate heights so like the first time Me going too. into that I was just like oh <sighs> no it's like so I don't bad. Want... oh I hate it Have you tried have you tried wizards Um Actually, you know, that's it's, really it's, cool. It's funny you should mention that. Um, Wizards is actually the next fantasy VR game that I want to get into because I got both um, Wizards ah. and the sequel, Wizards. I think Dark Times, because uh, yeah. it, it came out with a with a sequel for it. And I watched videos like the little the little videos that they have for the game itself to be like, this is our game. And watching it, I was like, this looks phenomenal. Like this is if they did magic like this in Skyrim, game over, game of the year, right there game of the year every year like that's that yep that would absolutely like 
blow shit out of the water. And they're getting to that point right now. Because right now, like I've been saying on the stream so far, like there are only three companies really that are making VR. Um, instead of like, you know, every other peripheral device for your computer and for gaming. Like it's it's not, you know, how many companies make fucking webcams or monitors or keyboards or mice or speakers or like any of this shit, right? Yeah. Like even capture cards, there's like a dozen anywhere you go and there's varying in qualities, but there's no gold standard yet. There just isn't. Not yet. Um, no. Yeah. And I'm, I'm looking forward to when there is. And there's certainly a lot of interest, especially from the game developer side point, like side of things, but they're still sort of exploring the, the space, you know? Like it's still the frontier for them. <laughs> they're they're kind of getting used it's to true. what you can do in that area. Like when 3D first became a thing in video games, people really didn't know what to do with that at first. They just created spaces that you could move around in and they're like oh you're this little bunny thing and you hop on platforms i guess like i don't know like they didn't think of all the things that they're doing with 3d space now and like in video games holy shit uh oh god oh my god um Super looking forward to seeing more. Thank you, uh, Mr. Classic Magic. I'm, I'm having the, 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 a great time with it. Uh, I want to get Doc a game like Robo Recall, but I'm not sure if it'll work on his setup. Uh, yeah, there is a couple you still need to try, and I will buy them for you. Oh, thank you, Mr. Classic Magic. That's really nice of you to say. Um, I hope I can, I can play all kinds of games for you guys. Um, but what I'm, what I'm really looking forward to is when a AAA... Uh, game development company makes a game like Skyrim or like Fallout, but they make it for the VR only. Um, I'm sure there will be adaptations yeah, for controls and for keyboard and mouse, but the main form in which they want you to experience their game is in VR. And it will use mechanics like you see in Boneworks or like you see in The Wizards. Uh, but it will have a story and a world for you to explore and all kinds of shit you can do like imagine going into skyrim and it was like yeah everything you touch with your character you interact with like you're you don't your hands don't pass through trees like you can actually walk up to a tree and physically climb it uh whenever you're fighting dudes like and they swing at you with a weapon you can block with your weapon like you do in blade and sorcery uh you can fucking like shove people uh and do, and just do shit like that like imagine those mechanics in a bigger more story driven game like skyrim or fallout like that is what i'm waiting for right now and i'm and i'm telling you that it's not far like we are a couple years from that if they're not already secretly working on it uh God. Well you say that like Balthas, you say like Ocarina of Time. Uh yeah, like like that was the thing, is they were like, I don't know what to do with 3D space, and then Ocarina of Time came out and just like blew everyone's minds clean out of their heads. Cause they're like, this is what you can do with 3D space. Fucking look at this shit. <laughs> like, look at it. What is this even? <laughs> like, uh Sorry, I got on a I got on a, on a terrible rant there for for a hot minute. I I apologize. You have um, a lot of feelings. I have a lot of feelings when it comes to this kind of stuff, man. So many feelings. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> I get so fucking stoked for this shit, dude. Like, I could have Popeyes. Good. <laughs> I don't know, guys. You think I could roll that dice? I'm, I'm like, I'm on my phone right now, looking at Uber Eats, and I'm like, I could go out and get Popeyes. I could, I could potentially kill you myself. You Popeyes. <laughs> Every time I ate Popeyes in the layer 3.1, uh, I would, <laughs> like, in very uneloquently, I would almost shit myself to death. Uh, <laughs> like, I had a very bad oh, time. Oh no. Uh, I had a bad time. It was, it was a bad day. I had a very bad day. Uh, but. I can have I can have Popeyes delivered to me for like a dollar. Um, no Popeyes, Mister Classic Magic. Why not Popeyes? Uh, probably because you'll present. shit oh, yourself. You. Health is more important. That's not a. You know what? That's that's a very good point. But like I I after I moved here, I tried eating the Popeyes that was like just outside my building, and I was fine. So the twenty four hour Popeyes that was near the layer three point one, that was the problem it was that location there was something wrong with that location that was making me sick um that place is still bumping yep 
during the plague. Yeah, like, man. They still got those rave lights on outside? The fucking oh, yeah. rainbow LED strips that they put all over everything? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's still cars in the parking lot and everything. Oh, and there's God. tables and shit. So now there's, like, cars and tables, like, parked Jesus together. Christ. It's very weird. <sighs> it's very bizarre. That makes me upset. That, that, makes me, that makes me upset that those people are still... I mean, they were making me sick before a pandemic. So, like, I can't be surprised that they're still open during a pandemic. <laughs> But yeah, right. um, yeah, I fucking like I could just get more shawarma from Alibaba's because that's just like grilled yeah, beef and good, like they make good shit. I I love me some pickled foods like beets. I could go for that anyway. Um, I'm not gonna bore everybody with my fucking food choices. Uh, <laughs> Taco Bell, shit yourself harder than Popeyes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's why I don't eat a Taco Bell anymore because the last time I ate a Taco Bell I thought I was going to die that's not an exaggeration like I'm not being hyperbolic that's what when happens I say every time you I eat had, a Taco Bell I had it's a bowel movement and I experience. thought it was going to kill me <laughs> like I, I, I thought I was going to die on the toilet um, part of the experience <laughs> the yep. Bell experience yeah, they make good shit so you make good shit <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, there's no delivery nachos native. Unless. No. no, Burrito Boy says nachos. Burrito Boy, I can't eat. Burrito Boy made me so sick. Uh, oh, no, I'm thinking Fat oh, no. Bastard. Fat Bastard made me crazy sick. I was going to um, say, I used to bring you Burrito Boys. Yeah, Bur- Burrito Boys, like Burrito Bowls are like amazing because it's like you can have just mixtures of vegetables and meat with awesome sauces in a bowl. And I'm like, that sounds amazing. <laughs> like, yeah, dope. we can do it, but with without any of the bread. You can have all this stuff, but without any of the bread. You just eat it with a spoon, you fucking monster. And I was like, yes. Uh, I'll, I'm going to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to fucking... I'm going to spell this wrong. Uh, burrito bowl. Uh, yeah, what you got? What you got for me? 80 results. Fat bastard. Yeah, don't eat there. Burrito Banditos. Not, I don't know great. about that. There's just a place called Burrito. <laughs> I don't know if I trust that. Uh, <laughs> like, uh, get something you know your stomach will enjoy too, you get. This is true. This is true. Uh, I gotta find like I gotta find like a good place that's like somewhere nearby that makes good burrito bowls that I can like that I know that I'll enjoy kind of situation you know <laughs> where I'm just like yeah I know I'll like that um, that's fair but yeah anyways um big thanks to everybody for coming out I don't think anyone else is streaming right now so I don't think there's anyone I can raid <laughs> excuse me um yeah because it's like late on a Sunday there's no one else out there doing this. So, yeah, we're not going to rate anybody, but uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out. This has been so much fun. Oh, my God. Uh, I had a great time. I had the fucking time of my life. <laughs> dude, dude, this game's amazing. Holy shit. Oh, it's, it's like, it's it's just one long cutscene, but it has parts yep. where you interact with it. It's like partway through, and you get to make choices and, and make the cutscene go different directions. That's fun to me. Like, I'm having the time of my life. Um, so, yes, thank you, Have everyone. you played... Uh, Beyond Two Souls? I, I have not. No, I've not played any of these games. I played like the beginning oh. of. I played the very beginning of um, of Heavy Rain, and then in like the first scene, fucking uh, Jason. I was press X to Jason the game, and I was like, "This is kind of silly." And then I was like, "I don't like that clown." And then the kid gets hit, and I was like, "I don't like this game." And I turned the game off. <laughs> I don't like this. I was like, I don't like this game anymore. Um. Because the next... Two Souls is more like this. Yeah, I was like, I just, I yeah. can't. Yeah, Jason, and so <laughs> Jason, Jason, Jason. Uh, and it's all yeah. the, the weird French voice actors too that like can't really speak English but are yeah. trying so hard. <laughs> oh, they're really giving it their go. Like they're they're really putting it in out there, <laughs> trying to make a the fucking solid effort. Um, but yeah, um, I'm really liking this because I like you know robots and androids and shit. This is my jam. I'm down for it. Uh, 
So I'm definitely coming back to this next Sunday, if not uh, sooner in the week, depending on uh, how I'm how my mood is and and what we're getting up to. But we'll see. But until then, though, my my bravest of citizens, I uh, am Toronto's greatest supervillain and evil genius, Doctor Terawatt. This is our layer 4.0. I am joined, of course, by an assortment of unicorns. That's me. That's you. And we will see you all again tomorrow on our next live stream. End of line.